The emotion starts right now on Mari. Betrayal, okay. lies, and sex secrets. No way! <laughs> Rachel was supposed to marry her fiance John, but she did not. She found this image on a videotape of John. And that is a stripper. My fiance found a videotape of me and a stripper. I wasn't cheating. I was partying with my friends. We've asked you if you had sexual intercourse with the girl on the videotape. Wait yeah, a second, we'll John. A result so shocking, John left the building. Deborah believes her man is sleeping with male transvestites. She takes off sleeping with man? That's crazy. Thinks you're having sex with transvestites. This big black man with breasts gonna walk up to me and describe my man to me. That's a lie. Is he cheating with male transvestites? The lie detector test determined. During a brief breakup, Jenny slept with another man. Jenny and Matthew are not sure if Matthew is Aiden's father. He can't live without him. <laughs> You're with the other guy, but you want Matthew to be the father. I'm so sorry. The results are in. Is Matt the father? Matthew. An unforgettable hour of Mari starts now. When Deborah came to the show, she was just two weeks away from marrying the love of her life, Jose. The problem was Deborah heard horrible rumors about Jose cheating on her. In fact, Deborah believed Jose had cheated on her with over 30 women. And as if that wasn't bad enough, Deborah also heard her fiance Jose may have cheated on her with transvestites. Watch this. He walks around like he's such a little macho man, but I believe he's having sex with men. One night Jose didn't show up when he was supposed to. So I went looking for him around the little area where he hangs out. A transvestite walked up to me and described my man's body, his face, and his penis. I almost fell out. I'm tired of his lying. I'm tired of his excuses. I'm tired of the marks. I know Jose's cheating. I love Jose with all my heart and my soul. But right now, I can't stand the sight of him because I know he's out there cheating on me. And my heart cannot take it no more. If the results of these tests come back that Jose's cheating on me, I'm not going to marry him, and he's going. You think 30? I'm 150% cheating. He don't come home. He come home smelling like It's just enough is enough. Enough. Now, what about this transvestite cross-dressing stuff? All right. He didn't come home. He went for an errand, and he didn't come home. So... I heard that he might be around the area, so I went looking for him. This big black man with breasts gonna walk up to me and tell me, describe my man to me, right. and his oh, his little Now, what happened when you were What happened? Um, in the bed, you know, we doing it, getting our groove on and everything, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting my little freak on. And instead of him saying Deborah, he tells calls another name. And what did he say? What was his excuse? I said Ma. I was calling him. He was calling me Ma. This is what you wanted to know. Has Jose had sex with any transvestites behind your back? Is Jose out having sex when he disappears? He kind of like disappears, yeah. right? Has uh, Jose paid any women I, for Sometimes sex? I think he has paid women. Oh. But right. you know what he pays them with? My clothes. If he ain't paid a woman with my clothes, he's paying a man with my clothes. Because oh. mama's jiggy. My clothes are gone. Oh and then when he comes back, he's breathing oh. in my face, Marty. So was Deborah right? Was her fiance Jose cheating on her with transvestites? It was time to meet Jose and then hear the lie detector results. I don't know why Deborah thinks I'm cheating on her, because I'm not. Every time I go out, I get accused of cheating, and I'm tired of it. When I come home, smell like sex, I was just working. She thinks I'm sleeping with a man? That's crazy. Deborah, you mean the world to me. I'm not cheating on you. You have to trust me. All right, here he is. Here's your man, Jose. Jose, come on out. Wait a second. He's Let, sweet. Wait a second. Deborah, you've had, you had your say, Deborah. 
You cheating? On no, sir. No. She thinks you're having sex with transvestites. That's a lie. He smells like he's having sex with transvestites. That's a lie. That's a lie. No, it's a lie. That's a lie. Oh, that's you ain't that's, tell me you ain't had no sex that's with your when insecurity. you was young. When you was young. I did it once. I thought of So why every time I be sleeping, you be trying to get up? When you when you kind of like disappear, where do you go? He goes on the whole stroll looking for little. Let, let him answer. Let him answer. With my clothes, with my little Tim's walking down the down the thing. Anybody want? That's that's what he does. You do you give her clothes away to to girls? Or are you wearing them? <laughs> because when he leaves, the minds always leave. I'm so tired of buying Timberlands. I'm so tired of buying North Face. I'm so tired of it. And I give you good sex. There ain't no reason. This is some A. I have A. A. You know what I'm saying? Okay. A give it to him good. There's no Deborah, reason for Deborah, him to be cheating Deborah. on me. Deborah, Should we find out There's right? There's no reason for well, him to be cheating on me. Well, let's find out whether he's on you. Let's find out whether. Let's find out whether he's or not, right? Yeah, go ahead. We have the results right now. Okay, Jose. We, mm -hmm. we asked you if you ever had sex with transvestites behind Deborah's back. You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. <laughs> Jose, we asked you if you were having sex when you disappeared. I'm out. We, I'm out. Shh, I'm, I'm, asked, no, 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 no. I'm don't you out. want the end I'm, of the I'm out before I do something drastic. I'll be back. Let me just go take a breath or something. Cause, yo, you is nasty. Don't you want to hear the rap? That you want forget to hear it, the... forget him, forget him. Get me out of here. No, no, you don't want the rest. I don't want no rest. You don't want to oh, he's nasty. Is that enough? You know what you want to, Is that all you want to hear? I, Pappy, oh, that you know, to test off. You I run got... it to your mama. That, that, run that, it to your mama. Too. Jose, the way you be coming home smelling, either they doing it to you or something, because you don't come home right. Dave. I need to sit down here. You, all right, come on out here and sit down. Come here, come on, come on out here and sit Hate down. Him. Huh? Come on, this is your man, the man you love. No, I used to love. That was just the feeling. Huh? <laughs> we asked Jose. Mommy, yeah. Get him away. Okay. We asked Jose. If uh, you were out having sex when you disappear, you said no. The lie detector test determined that's, that's a, a lie. lie. Oh. Jose, we asked you if you've ever that's paid it. for sex behind Deborah's back. You that said no. Me. The lie detector that's test me. determined that's, that's a lie. Jose, we asked you what if you. We, Jose, we asked. Yeah, you lying. You look at your lips. Shows all over your mouth. He's a lie. See, you need, you know what, Maury? Yeah. You can do me the biggest favor in the world. What's that? Find him a place to live. Really? <laughs> He's gone, baby. You got any numbers? Who wants this? Who wants this? I got it. You want it? I okay. love you. And that's all I, I know. I love yeah, you. Yeah, you love me. That's right. Jose, it's, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. You're going to give me a heart attack, remember? I ain't no young spring yeah. chicken. It's time for you to bounce. That's bounce! We'll be back with more scandalous cheaters after this. Rachel was supposed to marry her fiance, John, but she did not. She found this image on a videotape of John. That is a stripper. My fiance found a videotape of me and a stripper. I wasn't cheating. I was partying with my friends. We've asked you if you had sexual intercourse with the girl on the videotape. Wait yeah, a second, John. A result so shocking, John left the building. That is a stripper. I wasn't cheating. I was partying with my friends. Remember Rachel? Rachel brought her fiancé John to the show in a last-ditch attempt to save their relationship and move forward with their wedding plans. You see, Rachel believed her fiancé John was cheating on her, and, well, you know, the evidence she had was pretty compelling. Now, Rachel was supposed to marry her fiancé, John, earlier this year, but she did not. 
because Rachel says she found this image on a videotape of John. That's John. And that is a stripper. And since that horrible day when she found this video, it's kind of all been downhill. And also here is Rachel's sister, Lori. And she says that John is such a pig that he even hits on her. And Lori wants him out of her sister's life. But your sister says that he hits on her all the time. Mm -hmm. He's just his way. He's just you found that tape, that, must, that just must have done you in. I felt like I couldn't hold my own body up. I was eight months pregnant. I was going to have a baby. Right. And he told me that he didn't sleep with her. She was just a stripper. Right. But if you look at the picture, yeah. the camera is pointing towards the bed. Right. Why is the stripper won't dance on the bed? He's in his underwear and T-shirt. Strippers don't ask you to get down to your underwear and T-shirt like he said she did. And, and if he fails this test? I'm going to have to leave. But, but she said that. She said that reluctantly. I love him. I love him very much, and right. he is a good person, and I want to make it work with him. But I gave him too many opportunities to come clean. Okay. A picture of John in bed with a stripper. Rachel's own sister, Lori, saying that John hits on her and calls escort services. So it was time to see what John had to say for himself and then bring out Rachel's sister, Lori. I'm here today to prove to my fiance, Rachel, she has lost her mind. I never have cheated, I never will cheat, bottom line. My fiance found a videotape of me and a stripper. I wasn't cheating, I was partying with my friends. Rachel gets mad when I look at other women. I'm a man, I look at other women. Get over it. She's even tried to accuse me of sleeping with her sister. She's a nasty whore, I wouldn't touch her. Lori, you're nothing but a lying little bitch. Stay out of our lives. Rachel, when the test results come back, you're the one that's going to owe me the apology. All right, here's John. John, come on out. You don't want to sit next to her? No. Nah. You don't want to sit next Not to her? Not at all. This is your fiance. I don't care. You don't care? I want the test results now. I'm just kidding. That's all you want? That's it. Well, we can't do that yet. Because we got her sister here. Oh. <laughs> Lori? Get right there, too. Lori's backstage. This is what she had to say. I'm here today because I hate the way my sister's fiance treats her. I am 100% positive that he is cheating on her left and right. Today, if he fails his test, I want to out of my sister's life forever. Here she is. Here's Lori. Sit your fat ass over there Excuse and shut me. up. Shut up. Yeah, that's exactly what you do. Oh, you always oh, 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 way over there. there. You'll take it. your nose, yep. your big mouth, and sit Excuse all the way over there. Excuse me, you can't sit all the way over there. Lori, I can't hi. anything. I'm here, aren't I? Hi, hi Lori. How are you? Lori. Lori, just tell me about the time with the Come drinks, pork, and pork, pork all that stuff. <laughs> if you're going to pour drinks over her own sister. Right, okay. Pouring drinks all over my chest, drinks licking them all. over her, too, weren't they? Doesn't matter. You don't tell that She's your fiance. She's your fiance. Okay. You don't do it to me. So would John pass his lie detector test, or were Rachel's worst fears about to come true? It was time for the results. <laughs> John, we've asked you if you had sexual intercourse with the girl Rachel saw on the videotape. You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. <laughs> John, we you. asked you if you... Wait yeah, a second, John. <laughs> now, John, come on. Come here. Come here. Rachel, want... Rachel says, if you want to redeem yourself, you've got to come out here. Let's come on out here. Now, you have to redeem yourself. Come Don't out go here. to him. Let me out of this what building. What are you doing? No. I want him to come out. I want him to explain himself. I want to hear the rest. You ready for this? We asked John if he hired and paid the girl that he cheated with from the videotape. He said no, and the lie detector test determined that was a lie. 
We asked John if he's ever had sex with John. strippers or escorts that Rachel doesn't know about. He said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. And we asked John if he had sexual intercourse with other girls behind your back. He said no. And the lie detector test determined that was a lie. So that's it. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. What? I want out. Easy, easy. I'm let you out. Relax. I cannot believe this. But this is what you I, suspected. I know, but it's different hearing it, and I didn't think everything was gonna be true. You are not. You do not deserve this. You do not deserve any of this. You do not deserve it. You are a wonderful person. You can get anybody, anybody you wanted, you can get. I trusted him with everything. He deceived me, and I told him on the way up here he had a chance to tell me the truth, and we wouldn't come here, and he did it. He's not worth it. Yes. He's not worth it. Even more cheaters exposed when we come back. Is her husband having sex with other women? The lie detector test determined. I need you. No. I have to give tell you the truth, baby. No. Oh, I love you. I love you so much. I love you. I'm Vivian. still with you 13 I'm years, so Vivian. During a brief breakup, Jenny slept with another man. Jenny and Matthew are not sure if Matthew is Aiden's father. He can't live without him. <laughs> You're with the other guy, but you want Matthew to be the father. I'm so sorry. The results are in. Is Matt the father? Matthew? That is a stripper. I wasn't cheating. I was partying with my friends. When Vivian came to the show, she was an emotional wreck. Vivian thought she had the perfect marriage with her husband, Johnny. That is, until she got a very disturbing phone call from a young woman who claimed to be having a two-year love affair with her husband. Now, Vivian said Johnny denied being with this other woman. That is, until the day they came to the show. Vivian says Johnny then admitted to having sex with this woman and walked out the door. Listen to Vivian's heartache. So upset. I mean, 15 years we didn't have been together. You know, I can't understand why. I mean, everybody have their ups and downs, but that don't mean for a person to go out there and cheat on you. I lost my child because of him. Stressed me out. I want to know everything. I want to know when it start, when it stopped, why did it start. I mean, what did I do? The last 24 hours has been hell. I can't eat, I can't sleep. I just want to know the truth. That's all, I just want to know the truth. What do you mean you said that you lost your child? I was seven months pregnant, and I lost my baby. He stressed me out so bad. And that's when all this happened? When yes, no, she called my house two months ago. And I said, hello, who's this? Nobody said anything, so I had star 69, so I pressed it, and it, you know, her number popped up. So I called her back, so I said, you just called my house. And I said, who's you? She said, ask your husband. Uh. So, was Johnny going to own up to his mistakes? It was time to meet him and hear the lie detector results. <laughs> so, you walked out yesterday and you said, I didn't say I didn't sleep with this woman. I guess that means you slept with this woman. I admit it that when we first when the phone call came, I admitted that. Johnny, you did not. You did that. Johnny, you please don't make me react. Please, Johnny, don't make me react. Johnny, you were so you were so you were so upset. Yes, this is what comes about, see. That's why I can never get a point of call. You did not say nothing like that. Everything went down, but you did not. Excuse me. You didn't have no business doing that, Johnny. I understand that I was wrong. I was wrong. You couldn't, I want Johnny, but I chose you. Okay. You can't choose me. I chose you. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. What happened to, with this other woman? Well, something happened that two and a half years ago, but it was only twice. It was only twice. We was not what the woman said. The Johnny, woman lied. Hey, Johnny, woman lied. When hey, she Johnny, called my Johnny, house, she Johnny, lied. You, you, you know was, I was your woman, though, right? I was your we woman. was not married. I was, so I was your woman. That's why I left now. Look at you. So you my woman. Yeah, you my woman. Yeah, you my woman. Yeah, you my woman. That's why I didn't want to come here. 
Wait, don't do this. Baby, don't do this. No, see, that's why I see. That's why I can't talk to you. No, that's why you can't talk. Good talk to you now. Can't talk to you now. Can't talk to you now. Now come on, team man, talk like this now. See what I'm saying, Murray? Yeah. I can't talk now. All right, she's very, she's emotional. Okay. Always emotional. Pregnant, lost your baby. Did you? It wasn't pregnant then, baby. I didn't stop it. That's why I'm explaining to her. That's why I want to start with her. I'm out of here. Johnny, come here. I told you about that. You get it home. Get home, get home. You're lying to me. Lying to you. You never get to tell you the truth, baby. I told you, love, you never get a chance to tell you the truth. It's always happen. Talk to you. It's always happen. You see what I mean? Because I love you so much. I love you. I'm still with you 13 years, Vivian. Vivian. You know I love you. Vivian. Come on out here. And you can't put your hands on him. You can't do it. I love you too, baby, but I would never do this to you. I made a mistake and I apologize. You want to admit anything else, Johnny, before I read it? Because I don't know what the answers no. are. Did you have sex with the woman you told your wife about yesterday? More than the two times that you admitted to. You said no, and the lie detector test determined that was a lie. You had sex with that woman more than 30 times. Oh, have you had sex with this woman in the past three months? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. I know that's what I see. Other than the woman you told your wife about yesterday, have you had sex with any other woman since the two of you have been together? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. It's not true, baby. I don't want to. I didn't want to read those, Vivian. Oh God. You seem like a good woman. I'm a very good one. And I and I get the feeling. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm a bit of a naive here, but I have a feeling that Johnny wants to apologize and start over. That's what I think. She knows that. She knows that. She knows that. She knows that. I said it twice, baby. It was before we was married. When I first started working out there. Johnny, but baby, how can I? I love it. I know how you're gonna react. What I supposed to do? Johnny, what I supposed to you do? Felt like I would have did something. I know how like I would have. I know how I would have felt. I know how I would have felt. We'll be back with more shocking results after this. During a brief breakup, Jenny slept with another man. Jenny and Matthew are not sure if Matthew is Aiden's father. I can't live without him. <laughs> You're with the other guy, but you want Matthew to be the father. I'm so sorry. The results are in. Is Matt the father? Matthew. That is a stripper. I wasn't cheating. I was partying with my friends. This next story literally brought us to tears. Matt came to the show nearly heartbroken because he wasn't sure if he was the father of his ex-girlfriend Jenny's baby. Around the time Jenny got pregnant, she had slept with another man and now wasn't sure who fathered her seven-month-old son, Aiden. Now, Matt loved this baby more than anything, and the pain on his face told the entire story. I'm here today to find out if Aiden is really my son. I just, every time I look into his eyes, I, I have to wonder whether he's mine or not. I've been there since he was born. I was, I was there when he was still in his mom's tummy. I was there for the birth. I've been there ever since. I just really hope you that he's mine. Every day I have to look at him and wonder that if he's mine, it's, it's hell. I, it's, it's just something, it's the biggest issue I've had to deal with my entire life. It, it affects my sleepy habits. Like, I, I, it keeps me up at night. It's just a constant thing in my mind that I always have to think about. I just really want to be his father. And even if the test comes out negative, I still will always be there for him. I want him to be mine so bad. If I find him, he's not mine, I don't know. <laughs> you can't imagine not being his father. I just can't. I can't live without him. <laughs> now, 
Have you forgiven Jenny? Huh? I, don't, I don't care about that. You don't care about that? No. Are you two together? No. You think this baby looks like you? Huh? Yeah. Is that when all of this hap began to happen? Is when you and Jenny broke up? Huh? Yeah. Are you with him all the time? <laughs> with him as much as I can be. When did she tell you <laughs> that she may have been with another guy and she didn't know whose, whose child it was? While she was pregnant? She, we got back together after the two month period and about three weeks after that she told me she was pregnant. And she didn't, and she didn't know who it was with? Well, she's been in hell. <laughs> she just tears me up. So no matter what, you want to be there for him. Is that right? I'll always be there for him. Right. <laughs> so it was time to meet Jenny and find out what this situation was doing to her. And like Matt, Jenny was praying the DNA test would prove that he was her son's father. Now, here's the thing that, that, that everybody has to understand. You're with the other guy, right? But you want Matthew to be the father. Why is that? Because he's better. And he shows, he's better? Well, he's so much better towards him. Like, he treats him like Are you trying to son. tell me he's a better guy than the other guy, even though you're with the other guy? What are you doing with the other guy? Do you feel responsible for the way he is, though? I'm so sorry. So, was Matt the father of Jenny's seven-month-old son, Aiden? It was time for the paternity test results. In the case of seven-month-old Aiden, Matthew, you are not the father. <laughs> out the truth. This is why you're here, okay? You wanted to find out the truth. More shocking results when we come back after this. If he's cheating on me, we're not getting married and it's over. I find blood on his glasses. He gonna tell me it comes from an ingrown hair. She is convinced that her husband Buck has been cheating on her. Nikki's own sister, Yvette. cheating. I was partying with my friends. When Alyssa brought Oran to the show, she had just given birth to their beautiful baby girl, Oriana. But everything was not right with this couple because Alyssa was convinced that the man she loved, the father of her newborn baby, was cheating on her. This is her story. He also becomes a phantom, doesn't he? Yeah. I love you. I'm what not happens? cheating. I'm not Let doing me tell anything you. wrong. What happens? Let me tell you. He goes out all the night. All night. He don't even call me. No, I don't. Check on me. How, how long? When you say all night, I mean... What? Three, he could be gone for three days. Three days? Talk about <laughs> in an hour. He you know, goes out for an yes. hour and is, comes back three days later? Yes. And, and I gotta ask this. <laughs> where's he been? I'm with my homeboys. Uh, you don't be with your homeboys for three I days. Am. I'm right. sorry. You do not do that. I am. He has a family at home. She's lying. Two days. What about Two the days. boot? What about the boot? Oh, let me tell you about the boot. He come home, right? All right you take off his boots, yep. leave him in the floor like he always do. Right. You know, I clean up. I see some white paper. I said, what is this? So I grab it, and I see five different females' numbers. But he hurry up and grab them out of my hand before I can call him. So we arguing. Right. And, and I, I was like, what is friends. this? What is this? No, because if I have a friend, friends, right? let me tell you, if I have a friend, I'm a hoe, I'm having sex with them oh. and everything. Oh. That's, that's my What'd you find in his boxes? Let me tell you about this. This is so nasty. I'm sorry. Yeah. All right, I want to do everything like a woman's supposed to do. I find blood on his boxes. He gonna tell me it comes from an ingrown hair. Don't that much blood come from an ingrown hair? 
Would Orion be able to explain away all of Alyssa's evidence? It was time to bring him out and let him try. I'm here today to prove to Alyssa that I'm not cheating. She's the mother of my baby. I would never cheat on her. I love her with all my heart. I can't even leave the house without her accusing me of cheating. If I go to the bathroom, she thinks I'm cheating. Things are just crazy. When I came home with a mark on my neck, that wasn't a hickey. That was a mosquito bite. When I came home with scratches on my back, either I did it or she did it. It's not another female. When I stay out all night, I'm just out with my friends. I pass out. We hang out pretty late. Alyssa, I'm not cheating on you. I love you with all my heart. I'm 100% innocent. Well, he sounds convinced. Let's see how much. Bring him out. Here's Orion. Orion, come on out. You don't respect, hurt right? someone that you love. I'm sorry, you do not. Okay, yeah, sit down, sit down. I, I, got, I got things I to ask you. you. Oregon, am I guilty to prove it innocent or what? Right. Blood from an ingrown hair, huh? Yeah. Yeah, damn. On the boxes. Lie. Yeah. Oh, you okay. lie. Yeah. Don't think much Orion, blood come from an Orion, ingrown hair. You're gone three you say he's go you're going out an hour, you're going three days with your homeboys? Yeah. Don't nobody spend stranded. that much time with I their got homeboys. Stranded. You got stranded. You have yeah. a family. I got oh, you stuck. can't call me? What about the up? phone numbers in the boot? Yeah. It's just some friends, you know. I, I ain't have Let no. Let me have a friend. I, hey, Let hey. me have a friend. Jump down my. You would yeah. jump all over hey, me. Tomorrow, if look. I had a friend, you would look. jump all over hey, me. Hey, let him sit hey, down. Um, Listen, let him talk. It was. I, it, I didn't, I didn't have no say. pockets. I had on some pants. I didn't have no it's pockets. All okay. So I had to put the number in my but boot. So, was Orion telling the truth, or would the lie detector test confirm all of Alyssa's worst fears? It was time for the results. We asked you about cheating when you. Long. You say no, the lie detector test determined that was a lie. The what? The you lied to me? Sit down. Why we have a baby together? Alyssa, sit down. I'm sorry. We have Orient. a baby together. Asked you if you were cheating when you come home smelling like sex. You said no, the lie detector test determined that was a lie. You I love you, baby. Oh, I love you, you don't love me? I love you. Okay. It, it, it's wrong. Something Orient. wrong. What, you can't grow up? Something wrong. Or you if you were having Alyssa found evidence on your boxer shorts. You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. You nasty! You nasty! You so nasty! Orion was cheated with any women that Alyssa about. You said no, and the lie detector test determined These. that was a lie. You know what? I'm gonna tell him something. Okay, I'm gonna tell him something. God, it hurts. I love you, baby. Come here, kid. Me. Oh, do on, not man. touch me. Come on, baby. Do not no, touch me. Do not to touch me. I want to tell you something. Tell me. I do love you. Yeah. But I'm not going to be stupid anymore. It's over, Orion. Okay. When we get back, you get your Okay. Because I could do bad by my damn self. All right. I could do I bad you. by my damn self. Can you give self. me another chance? Hell no. Can I get another Come on, baby, give me a chance, please. I love you. I love you, baby. I love you. Come on, baby. I love you. You love me. Yes, I do. You lost the best thing you ever had in your you. life. Okay. Oh, yeah, you can have communication with your daughter. I love you. But you lost the please. best thing please. you ever had. Ever had. I love you. Please. You never please. did it the time. He shouldn't have did it because he's supposed you. to love me. Come here, baby. Don't baby me! Give me another chance. Don't baby me! I'm tired of this! Please, the test wrong. Or <laughs> this made me not want nobody! Don't the test this made me don't don't the test oh, God! Well, okay, I'm guilty. I'm guilty. <laughs> Come here. I admit that I was wrong. I'm guilty. I'm sorry. So let me do it. I apologize. Let me have done it. <laughs> I love you. You know I love you. Love ain't supposed to hurt. Love's supposed to feel good, Orion. I know. It do feel good, right? No, it don't oh, feel good. I'm sorry. Look, I love you. Just please, please, give me another chance. No. Can, can we talk about it? No, I gave you too many chances can time after time. It? Talk about what? Us. It's a waste of breath. No, it's not. 
I love you. You don't love me. Love is not supposed love, to love, freaking love. hurt. We'll be back after this. She is convinced that her husband, Buck, has been cheating on her. Who was the woman? It was Nikki's own sister, Yvette. I love you. I swear. I did not hey. sleep with Buck. The lie detector test determined... Cheating, I was partying with my friends. This is Nikki. When Nikki came to the show, she was convinced that her husband Buck was cheating on her with another woman. Nikki found pictures in her bedroom of another woman wearing sexy lingerie. Who was the other woman? It was Nikki's own sister, Yvette. So Nikki was determined to find out if her husband was having sex with her own sister. You're shaking. I'm so hurt. You believe it? <laughs> yes. They said they didn't do it. I believe they did. A family member actually is the one that told me that they did. And what happened when you approached Buck? Uh, he got all irate and defensive and said he didn't do it. And Do you really believe that your own husband had sex with your sister? I know. It's gross, ain't it? <laughs> So now it was time to meet Nikki's husband, Buck, and then bring out Nikki's sister, Yvette. I'm here to prove today that I am not cheating on my wife, Nikki. My wife thinks that I'm sleeping with everybody, including her sister, Yvette, but I'm not. I can't use the phone. I can't go to the gas station next door to get a pack of cigarettes. I can't even go down the next aisle in the grocery store because she thinks I'm cheating. Nikki, I love you, but if you don't stop accusing me of cheating, our marriage is going to end. Here he is, Buck. Buck, come on in. Here's the deal. Nothing. You haven't made it with Nikki's sister. No, absolutely You haven't not. made it with her friends. Absolutely not. You haven't made it with strange women up Nobody, in your bedroom. Nobody, nothing. Haven't did anything at all whatsoever. None of that I'm stuff. clean like a baby. But... <laughs> yeah, but there's another piece to the puzzle. It's the sister and she's here. <laughs> I swear on my life, my children, that I did not hey. sleep with Buck. I did not sleep. I would never go. do that to a family member. I lost my job to fly here to tell you and to prove to you I did not sleep with him. I love you too much and you mean too much so to me. Why did you lie to me in the first place? What, what are you all talking started? about? When all started. What are you talking about? You know? I'm here to, to prove to you that I did not sleep with your husband. Was Nikki's husband, Buck, cheating on her with her sister, Yvette? It was time for the lie detector results. He asked Buck, have you had sexual intercourse with Nikki's sister, Yvette? You said no. And the lie detector test determined that's the truth. Sexual intercourse. <laughs> Friends, you said no, and the lie detector test determined that's the truth. See, there you go. Watch, see, what do you say? What? What do you say? Damn, I'm good. I'm the one, see? Past four years. Since, Since you've been married to Nick, have you cheated on oh, You I'm said sure. no, and the lie detector test determined that's the truth. What? And, hey, what? Do I get a hug now since we're allowed to, we're allowed to test now? Okay. See? We'll be back right after this.
The excitement happens right now on Mari. All of the unbelievable sex secrets they've been hiding from their families are coming out today. She fears that her husband is having sex behind her back with prostitutes. Baby. You have absolutely lost your mind. He yeah. thinks you're bipolar. I'm bipolar and I'm crazy, but I'm going to find out today, Curtis. Is he cheating on his wife with prostitutes? Lie detector determined. <laughs> The last time she was here, Courtney found out her husband James was a cheater. Get off me. Now they're back because James is about to tell her two giant sex secrets. Oh! What is it? What is it? <laughs> Ruthie discovered a website that details how Jerry's having sex with Wimp. The lie detector determined. and a devastating secret. She was on you. I'm not sure if you or him is the father of the mom. Oh! Get off me. I tell you for you. Is her husband the father? Dimitri's family sex secrets exposed today. This is Tashonda. Now, Tashonda's terrified her husband of six years, Curtis, has had sex with over 20 women behind her back. You see, the Shonda fears that some of the women may be prostitutes. Other women could be obese, like real heavy. Real big. Real big. Like 500 pounds big. Five foot. She thinks Curtis has a fetish for those women. Yes. So Shonda is curious that the man she's loved for so long could be cheating on her. What? I believe my husband, Curtis, of six years, is cheating on me. Curtis disappears at night and says he's staying at his family's house, but I know he's lying. I call his family. They say he's not there. Do Curtis really think I'm stupid? My worst fear is that Curtis is cheating on me with over 20 women. Not just any women, but big, fat, stink, nasty women. I think Curtis has a fetish for women that weighs over 400 pounds. I lost weight from all this stress from him cheating. Now I'm scared I'm just not big enough for him. And I'm also convinced that Curtis is sneaking prostitutes through our bedroom windows. All the prostitutes in the neighborhood know him by name. If I find out that he's cheating on me, I will end it today. Today, today, today. After six years. After seven years. I've been married to him for six years, but today is the day. You all have kids together? I'm pregnant now. First your, baby. This is your first baby? My ba first baby You're, you're with pregnant my right husband. now. Yes. But you would leave him. I would leave, Maury. About what's going on with the Venetian blinds. When I moved into this townhouse, the townhouse had brand new Venetian blinds all the way around. Right. Every time I work 11 to 7, miraculously, one or two of the Venetian blinds are broken. After about a week or two, the whole Venetian blind was broken at the bottom. Somebody's getting out that window, and I'm going to find out today who it is. So you think, you think Curtis has been sneaking I women think in? I know. Sneak. I'm not, I'm not crazy. You think I'm he's been crazy. sneaking prostitutes I know in he's under the somewhere, Venetian blinds? Somewhere, blinds. through the window, under the bed, I don't care. I'm going to find out today. Today. So what's wrong? What's wrong when Curtis says he wants to go to the store? Curtis always wants to do something. The store is a hop, skip, and a jump from the house. You do not need to take a shower when you come from the store. I'm going to find out. So, in other words, he goes to the store, which is a hop, skip, and a jump. A hop, skip, and a jump. He stays away a little too long. An hour and a half, two hours more. He comes home and jumps in the shower. Jump in the shower and tell me that I'm crazy. I have bipolar. I'm just a drama queen. I am not crazy, and I'm going to find he, out today. He thinks you're bipolar. I'm bipolar, and I'm crazy. I'm always trying to start a okay. confusion in the house. But I'm going to find out today. The confusion is on you, Curtis. <laughs> Well, I guess so. I mean, we might as well find out what find Curtis out. has to say, find okay? He's backstage it. right now. This is what he had Excuse to say. Excuse maker. I am absolutely not cheating on my wife, Shonda. 
I love Shonda. She cooks for me, she cleans for me, takes care of me. Why would I cheat on her? She thinks I have a thing for heavier women, but she's lost her mind. She goes on and on that I come home with scratches and smell funny. I cut trees. Shonda is crazy for thinking I'm cheating. Baby, I love you, but you have absolutely, positively lost your mind. And I'm gonna prove I'm innocent today. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Lost my mind. Wait a minute. Okay. You cook for him all? I cook, I clean, I will cook? wipe what? his what? behind if he needs it. I love my husband. Right. What, what are some of the foods you cook? Oh, I can cook chitlins, macaroni and cheese. You name it, I cook it. If I can't do nothing else you for you, I can cook. How good is your mac and cheese? My mac and cheese will make you slap your mama. Oh, oh my God. God. Here's I, Curtis. Curtis, come on out. A lucky guy with that mac and cheese. I gotta start with this, because this really sounds strange. The Venetian blinds. What is going on there? You know, they break. You, know, you reach your hand through the Venetian blinds. She Venetian thinks blind. you've been taking women, we have prostitutes, and pushing them through the, the Venetian blinds. They're doing that, more. Okay. That's not what I'm about. Yeah. I work, you I cook, see. I clean. How about the prostitutes we'll in the see. neighborhood and all that kind of stuff? You're not around them, are they? I don't see any prostitutes. Oh, he's just friendly. All I see he's is her, boy. They know his name. We moved in at the same time, boy. Why don't they move in? They don't know my name is I Shonda. See. They don't okay. know me. Then she says, as soon as you come home, you jump in the shower. In the shower. I, I, I'm sweaty. I'm a big man. Mar. I have to take a shower. I ain't doing nothing. Mar. I'm crazy. I know. Having a woman that accuse you all the time. Right. Accuse. Will Word make you perspire. Oh, I see him. <laughs> if you know, you understand. <laughs> you understand. <laughs> you understand. <laughs> you all understand. I'll tell you, that's the best, that's the best excuse I've ever heard. You know she's about to have a baby. You're I about to that. be a dad. That's I, I, why you're, I, that, you're very excited, I bet, right? I compliment her in every way. Okay. We're going to find out if you compliment her after this. Yeah. <laughs> Get these and dance out. Let's hear it. Get comfortable. We asked you if you're attracted to Shonda. You said yes. The lie detector determined that was the truth. Okay. Why wouldn't you be, though? Okay. We asked you that when you tell Tashonda you're sleeping on your back porch of your mother's, are you really sleeping at another woman's house? You said no. The lie detector determined that's a lie. We asked you when you tell Tashonda you're going to the store, are you cheating yeah, on her with other good. women? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh. You, since okay. you've been married okay. to Deshonda, have you paid for sexual contact? I know you sexual contact with a prostitute. You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh, no, man. Oh, 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 We asked you since okay. you've been married to Deshonda, have you had any prostitutes inside the home you share with her? No. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh! Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. Oh. Don't be trying to lie. No, that ain't true. Shut up, lie. That ain't true. Shut up. It ain't true. Dr. Jeff. Okay. Tashonda. Sir. Very first thing. <laughs> wait, 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 doing. wait. It's not and about him. Okay. It's about okay. you and it's about this baby. Okay. And that's why. Okay. Well, that's true. Okay. 
And that's why, that's why you've got to stay calm. Curtis, it seems to me, if you're going to be hanging out with prostitutes, mm -hmm. sneaking women into your in home, it seems to me, in seems to house. me, perhaps you have some sort of a sexual addiction Fetish. that you can't, Nasty. you can't Trifling. control yourself. And the very last point, and Curtis, you should know this. There's I'm something out, out there called STDs. She's pregnant. So you're putting he two lives care. on the line. He don't care. You got to be he careful. He don't care about himself. You got to stop. That's why he doing what he do. Stop you can't find I don't need you as no father. I am upset, but guess what? I ain't upset enough to shed not now till. I done shed tears for six years. I'm not shedding no more tears. It's time for me to stand up and be a woman, and a woman I am. Kiss my... The last time she was here, Courtney found out her husband James was a cheater. <laughs> Courtney gave him another chance. Now they're back because James is about to tell her two giant sex secrets. Can this marriage possibly survive after the secrets what? come out? What is it? Chris is about to tell his girlfriend three shocking sex secrets. First thing I want to tell you. Love you. Family sex secrets exposed today. Last year, we met a newlywed couple, James and Courtney. See, Courtney had some painful suspicions that her husband, James, was leading a secret sex life and sleeping with other women behind her back. Watch this. What happened on your wedding day? He is supposed to have called his ex-girlfriend and told her that he wanted to see her one last time before we got married. You also think I have had another baby. Yeah. Before we got together, he was with his right. ex-girlfriend. Right. Our babies were born a month apart. You were asked if you tried calling your ex-girlfriend on the day of your wedding to try to have sex with her. You said no. That's a lie. Oh, yes, that was on. supposed to have been my day. You were asked if you regret marrying Courtney. You say no. That was a lie. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. Get off of me. Do not touch me. Courtney, these so far are feelings. We're going to get to the facts, okay? You were asked if you've ever cheated on Courtney. You said no. That's a lie. Oh. How can you do that? The woman you're supposed to be in love with. You going to give him another chance? No, I'm done. It's been a year. <laughs> Courtney gave him another chance. Wow. But now they're back. And Courtney's the one backstage. James is sitting next to me. Why are you back? To have two secrets tell my wife. You want to tell your wife secrets? What's your first secret? That I've cheated on her with two different women. Since the last show? Since the last show, but eight different times. Two women, eight times. What's the second secret? That I had a threesome. This is what Courtney had to say, watch. The last time I was on the show, whenever I found out he cheated on me, I was full of anger. I'd never been so hurt in my life. When I went home, I called about filing for divorce but I couldn't go through with it because we have a family. My family is my world. I'd lay down and die for any of them. That is, how could he do that to us? How could he do that to his kids? Knowing that he's been hiding something from me these past few months, it kills me. He wants to start over. He wanted to do right. You can't do right by hiding something from somebody that you're supposed to love. I know he has secrets to tell me, but I'm afraid after today, we're not going to have our family anymore because I can't put up with it anymore. Everybody, here's Courtney. Courtney, come on up. <laughs> Courtney, painful for you to be back here. Yeah, I'm scared. You're scared. 
James, tell Courtney your first secret. I've cheated on you two different women. Oh. Right. When? I'm sorry, baby. What is the other part of the secret? There's more? More? There's more. No, 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 no. No, no, no. What? What? What is it? Tell her the other part of the secret, James. I've had a person with two different women, with the same two women. I'm sorry, honey. I do you're love sorry. you. I'm trying to do you this. You brought over. me back to tell me you're sorry when you yeah, could have so done I that at home. Yeah, so make things better between us. You're not making things better between us. Yes, I no, want you're to. not. I want to quit this. I, we have a family together. I don't. You I wasn't don't want thinking to lose about you when you. Watch out. Courtney, let me ask you something. Let me tell you one thing. Me, my two daughters, and your son, gone. No more. No more. Ever. I hate you, man. I hate you. How can you do that? Dr. Jeff, what do you have to say to these two? There's something really wrong with him. Stupidity. And you forgave him. Remember, you that did time. that. But you know what? The forgiving is only the first step in the process of healing. Because if you don't find out why, you're doomed to repeat that mistake, and which is why he thinks he might still continue to cheat. I hate you. I'm divorcing you. When we go back, we're done. Courtney, are you willing to no. see? No. No. <laughs> You want to say anything to Courtney? I do feel bad for what I've done. I do love you all. No, you don't. The first or second time? Or the last time? Or how are you going to tell it to your kids when you go home? Because I'm not going to let you keep hurting me and my family. My family, not yours. We'll be back right after this. I do love you it. with all of my heart. Was you thinking that whenever you was Amy? Was you thinking that when somebody else was 13 months and I have been faithful to you. I ain't ever done anything on you. It's always you doing me. We have three beautiful kids, Jamie. And that's why I came here to tell you what. And you couldn't have told me at home. You're on national TV, jackass. I didn't know how to tell you. I'm done, Jamie. Chris is about to tell his girlfriend three shocking sex secrets. First thing I want to tell you. Oh! Love you. Ruthie discovered a website that details how Jerry's having sex with women. I never had sex with anybody. You're a damn liar! We're gonna find out right now. The lie detector determined. <laughs> Family sex secrets exposed today. This is Cosetta. Cosetta is furious. She works nights in order to support her boyfriend of three years, Chris, and their 18-month-old daughter, Christiana. But Cosetta fears that while she's busy at work, Chris is busy with other women in their home. Whoa! And an insult to injury, Chris disappeared on the night that Cosetta gave birth to their daughter. Whoa! And Cosetta that Chris was sleeping with other women in exchange for money and Xbox games. What? I've been in love with Chris since the minute I met him. We have a beautiful baby together, and I used to be happy. But I don't trust him at all anymore, and it's really stressing me out. I am a woman, and a woman knows, and I know in my heart that Chris is cheating on me. Chris disappears for weeks at a time. There's a big fat girl that Chris is constantly hanging with. To make matters worse, 
I believe she's buying him clothes and giving him money for sex. I love Chris and I want to be with him, but I can't be with him if he's going to cheat on me. Where was he the night, day you gave birth? Chris was with a big, fat, black girl. How do you know that? I know because I talked to the girl three weeks after that. She told me that Chris, Chris told me he was out of town. But the girl told me that Chris was with him instead of out of town. So I know she's not lying. And the biggest problem is it gets past anger because you believe that Chris is using you. Yes. I've been with Chris for three years. I've dedicated everything to him. He's my everything. He's my everything. And for like the last couple months, Chris acts as if he's not attracted to me anymore. He doesn't do anything with me anymore. And when I'm around him, he just acts funny. Who wants, if you love a person and you want to be with them, you wouldn't treat him like that. I want to tell you something. We uh, sat down with Chris to take a lie detector test. And, 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 and there, all of a sudden, there was a shocking turn of events because Chris wants to come out here and explain things. So we might as well bring him out. Here's Chris, everybody. <laughs> So there are some specific things that Chris wants you to know about, Cosetta. And here's the first confession. The first thing I want to tell you, I cheated 20 times with more than 20 different women. Why you could why did we have to come all the way to New York for you to tell me that? Why you could tell me that? Cosetta, here's the second confession. And the next thing is, I done had sex with the fat girl more than 20 times. And yes, while you was at the hospital having my baby, I was with the fat girl. Yeah, man, for being like that, you know I love you, man. One last thing. One last thing he wanted to say. I have cheated for money and gifts. I love you, but please just take me back one last time. I promise this is what I'm here for to make it work. Cheating on me for money and gifts? Everything that I do for you? I've been over backwards. I put my life on the line for you, and you cheat on me for money and gifts? Oh, Are you serious? This is in the past, though. <laughs> Well, I'm here to Cosetta, discuss. sit down, okay? This is in the past. Because there were a couple of more questions that we asked uh, Chris on the lie detector. You were asked if you're cheating on Cosetta because you're no longer turned on by her. You said no, the lie detector determined that's a lie. Oh! You ain't turned on to me no more, Chris. You ain't turned on to me no more. You're not. Baby. You don't love me. You don't I love me. It, man. It's not what it is. You don't Sorry, love man. me. You don't love me. You want it here to get counseling, okay? You want to find out if there's a way. Do we need so to sit, sit down. Sit down here, Cosetta. Cosetta, sit down here. Dr. Jeff? Now that we know everything, you want to take a look at yourself as to why you did these very destructive things. It's more than just the words, Chris. Now it's going to have to be about the actions. But not only you guys getting therapy, but also you getting therapy and seeing what that's about. Basically, selling your behind for money. There's some real self-esteem issues there, and you've got to and work with that. And you don't got to. I do whatever it takes to make you happy. But whatever. now, but now, Cassetta, now the thing is, to get his respect, you've got to respect yourself, too, and learn to love yourself. We'll be back right after this. Thank you. I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> you want us to set up some counseling for him? Please. Okay. And you're going to have to be involved too, you know. Okay. <laughs> Ruthie discovered a website.
tales how Jerry's having sex with women. I never had sex with anybody. You're a damn liar! We're gonna find out right now. The lie detector determined. Family sex secrets exposed today. This is Ruthie. Backstage is Ruthie's husband, Jerry. You see, they were married eight months ago. And these newlyweds should be drowning in happiness, but that's not the case. You see, Ruthie believes that Jerry no longer loves her and is even physically repulsed by her. Recently, Ruthie discovered a website that details how Jerry's having sex with women behind her back. This is her story. When I first met Jerry, he was my everything. But now that's all changed since we've been married. He was turning his board. I hate for my kids to see me cry. And they want to know why. I don't think Jerry looks at me anymore. It makes me feel like I'm disgusting to him. I was like, my husband is cheating on me because I'm not pretty like the women that he's with. I discovered a website where women were talking about having sex with my husband. <laughs> that made me feel like I'd already lost everything. I thought that when me and Jerry got married, we were going to be together. It was just going to be us. It wasn't going to be him and everybody else. Jerry is all I have, and if he fails to lie detector test, then I have nothing. What, what happened two weeks before your wedding? <laughs> he told me that he cheated on me with my best friend. Ruthie, why didn't you get rid of it right then? Because I love him. Well, Gave your husband a lie detector test, and we're gonna have the results. But first, this is what Jerry had to say. Ruthie means the world to me. We have a beautiful daughter together, and she also has beautiful twin girls that I've helped raise. I can't imagine my life without them. Two weeks before I married Ruthie, I came clean and told her that I had had a sexual relationship with one of her close friends before we got together. Now that Ruthie knows this, she's got insecure and she thinks that I'm cheating on her. I have never cheated on Ruthie. All right, everybody, here's Jerry. Jerry, come on out. <laughs> Jerry. Jerry. Are you disgusted by your wife? No, not at all. That's what she thinks. I know that's what she thinks, but I'm not. First of all, I didn't cheat on her. The relationship. You are a liar. You are liar. It is right there. Okay, there's a girl. Let me tell y'all. She has a claw hand. It's like this right here. Let me come on. What the hell? Like for real, it's like this. And I'd like to know what turns you on. This right here. We're gonna find out right now. We have all the results. Can I stand? Can I stand? I wanna be right here. Jerry, you were asked if you're still in love with Ruthie. You said yes. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You were asked if you regret marrying Ruthie. You admitted you do regret marrying Ruthie. Oh! Okay, whatever. Ooh, you were ooh. asked if you've had sex with anyone other than Ruthie during your relationship with her. You said no. The lie detector determined that's a lie. I never had sex with anybody. Jerry, you were asked if you had any of your female co-workers oh during your relationship with Ruthie. You said no. The lie detector determined that's a lie.
You were asked if you've had sex with any of Ruthie's close friends during your relationship oh, with Ruthie. God. You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. <laughs> I know you're flailing out against Jerry, but this is really about you healing yourself so you can make the proper decisions in the future. So, if you can't make it as husband and wife, you're going to have to come to some agreement as to how to be healthy parents so that we don't see your child on this show 15 years from now having the same problem. Yeah. We'll be back right after this. You're all, I'm sorry, sorry, don't cut it with me no more. I get so sick. I'm sorry. Oh, I love you. But you, still, yeah, you, you slip around on me. An emotional Jerry begs for forgiveness. You want to teach you? It's the one I caught on. Do you want it? Last time, her husband was caught red-handed with two sexy people. But today, the tables have turned. I cheated on you. I'm not sure if you or him is the father of the oh! I tell you for you! Is her husband the father? Matrice. Family sex secrets exposed today. This is Diana. Now, two years ago, Diana brought her husband, Dimitris, on this show. She brought him on this show because she suspected he was cheating on her with her very own sister. Whoa. Guess what? Dimitris was found not to be cheating with her sister. But, but he did fail the lie detector test when it came to other women. So take a look at the appearance on the show two years ago. Can you imagine suspecting that the woman your husband is secretly having sex with is your very own sister? If my husband is cheating on me with my sister or any other woman, we are done. Your sister in nothing but pants. Yes. And your husband sitting there like dumbfounded? Now she ain't here in her panties with a lip. But with her pants. We sent two sexy decoys into the green room. That's what you want to do. Here's Demetrius. Oh! Diana, you have got to be out of your mind. I am not sleeping with your husband. Kelly, come on out. Sexual intercourse with Diana's sister Kelly. You said no. That was the truth. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, oh, Kelly. No. Okay, then. No. Okay, then. We asked you, Demetrius, if you've ever had sexual intercourse with another woman in the bed that you share with Diana. You said no. The lie detector determined it was a lie. So guess what? After that show, Diana forgave Dimitris. But apparently, she didn't forget. Because she's back today because she needs our help again. But it's not exactly what you would think. Why are you back here? Mara, I cheated on my husband. That's not the worst part of it. That's not the worst part of it? The worst part of it is I got pregnant, and around the time I got pregnant is when I cheated. So you don't know who the father is? You don't know who the father of the child is? Didn't I read that you told Demetrius you cheated on him? Yes, sir. I told him I cheated one time, but actually, I cheated more than five times. <laughs> well, we're going to meet Demetrius. I'm glad that he has made a complete turnaround. And, and this is what he feels when it comes to hearing a secret from you. Watch. My wife, Diana, she's my everything. I made a big mistake by cheating on her. Thankfully, my wife stuck by my side through it all. Since the last show, we communicate much, much better. I love spending quality time with my wife right now. Yes, we're in a good place. We just had a little girl in December, the Mariana, and I love her with all my heart. I love being a father. I change the diaper, feed her. I'm proud of my little girl. Diana is sweet and innocent. I don't think she'll do anything to hurt me. I'm surprised she's keeping something from me and it hurt inside to know that she is. Diana, I love you and the Mariana. 
My family mean everything to me. Whatever the secret is, I hope we can get through it like we got through it the last time. You see, women, guys can change. Here's Dimitri. Dimitris, first of all, I, I got to congratulate you. You've done a complete turnaround, haven't you? Yes, sir. Diana, why don't you tell Demetrius why you brought him back? Demetrius, you know I love you, right? You're my world, you're my husband. We done been through so many different things together. But my secret is, I cheated, you know I told you I cheated one time. I cheated on you more than that one time. Oh! Baby, baby, listen. Oh, no, 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 no. Demetrius, baby. sit down, sit down, because she has more to tell you. Diana? Sit down and tell him the whole thing. And the second part is, I'm not sure if you or him is the father of the mother. Oh! Man, you play too much, man. Get off me. Get off me. Get off me. Get off me. You play too much. Get I'm off sorry. me. Get I'm off sorry. you play too I'm much. Sorry. What you gonna I'm do that for when I change? I change for you. I'm sorry. I change for you. We can do a paternity test. You want me to do a paternity yes, test? Yes, sir. I need to know. Yes, sir. So I don't want your mind to run away with you Please forgive before me. we do this test. Yes, sir. Okay. I love you, and I'm sorry. Mistakes happen. Boy, I'd I, I be there for it. I'd be, I be there for the child regardless. Regardless of whatever. And this is my child. I'd be there for it. Is her husband the father? The answer is next. Matrice, an emotional Jerry begs for forgiveness. Will it work? You want to teach you? It's the one I caught on. Do you want it? Maury was family sex secrets exposed today. This is Diana and Demetrius. Now, Diana revealed a shattering secret to Demetrius that she cheated on him and their eight week old daughter, Demariana, might belong to another man. Now, we've given them all. All a DNA test. We're going to have the results in a minute. But you were angry after the show, weren't you, Demetrius? Yes, sir. I mean, I've been, been a couple of days. I've been hard for me. I want to know badly. Do you talk to each other? No, I don't talk to her, but I, I deal with my baby. You do? Yeah. Because that's your baby? Yeah. I hope. I pray to God it is, Mom. I'm my angel. Diana, have you tried to get him to talk? Yes, sir. I've been trying to talk to him. I've been apologizing. I'm sincerely sorry. I didn't mean to get pregnant, and I didn't mean to hurt him, but I was hurting. And I want our marriage to work, and I know in my heart that he's the father, regardless to what that piece of paper say. You know, we got married. We got a certificate. This, this is life. This is love. And, and you hurt me, and I want you to understand, I am so sorry. This is your child. We, we can work through it, regardless to what the DNA test say. She got your daddy's blood, your last name. Can't you understand? I mean, what? We're going to have the results right now. In the case of eight week old Demariana Dimitris, you are the father. Household. Very good. We'll be back right after this. An emotional Jerry begs for forgiveness. Will it work? You want to teach you? It's the one I caught on. Do you want it? Find out next. Family sex secrets exposed today. Earlier, the lie detector revealed that Ruthie's husband, Jerry, was cheating on her with a close friend. Backstage, an emotional Jerry pleaded with Ruthie to give him one more chance. You want to teach you? You know what? The tears are trying right now. 
That's for everything I've ever felt. I'll do counseling, whatever it takes, because I want us to be together. I want us to be a happy family. You better not screw it up, because I'm telling you, I will bounce out of here, I promise. We hope that this couple can put this all behind them and make a fresh start. Until next time, America. limits and the results are in foreign some of them want the test to prove they're right and others want the test to prove they're wrong but all of these guests want paternity tests larry's in a sticky situation he told his girlfriend that deirdre's baby is not his meanwhile he's been telling deirdre that his girlfriend's baby is not his today these two will meet face to face for the first time Two paternity tests, Larry, Larry, and one shocking result. She says that Dustin denies her baby for one reason. Dustin's lover, Russell. I'm gay. I really don't believe I'm the father of Malachi. I get the feeling you don't like Russell. You weren't even there when my baby was born. I'm here now. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Later. She knew for a fact that I was gay. It was an experiment. I was the first female who ever... She wants him back. I know she does. No, I don't. This is a DNA test that will leave you speechless. Dustin. <laughs> Plus, Jolene has been sleeping with her husband and her lover for the past nine years. Who's the father of her four kids? What is going on? I am torn. Four DNA tests and four unforgettable results. Shocking DNA results. Next. My next guest, Tia has been in a loving relationship for five years with a guy named Larry. And they have a three-month-old daughter together named Larry. Oh. Then one day, Lavtia picked up Larry's cell phone and was shocked to find a picture of him holding another baby. Oh. There wasn't this. Oh. And this child, whose name is L'Oreal, belongs to a woman named Deidre. Oh. Now... So here's the deal. Deidre claims Larry has been lying to Love Tia for years and that he is the father of her eight-month-old daughter, Loria. Now, not only does Larry deny Deidre's baby, but lately he's also been questioning Love Tia's daughter, Larry. Watch. My heart is broken because Larry cheated on me with this girl, Deidre, and it just messed our whole relationship up. She's claiming Larry the father of her baby, and Larry thinks he's not. I found a picture of Larry holding the baby on his phone. He was denying everything. Then he finally admitted to me that he slept with her a few times. I've been with Larry for over five years, and we got a baby together. I want to believe him, but since there's a baby involved, I got to be sure. Deidre always been jealous of me and Larry's relationship. I want to spend the rest of my life with him, but I can't if this really is his baby. So what was it like when you pick up that cell phone and see him uh, a picture of him with the other baby? I see the picture, and he was stuck. He didn't know what to say. Then he just like, oh, they, her family was just pressuring me to come see the baby at the hospital. And he wanted to be a good dude, so he that's went his baby. or whatever. That's his baby. Big girl, be quiet. That's no, it's not. You know that's, that's not his baby. baby. You know that's, that's not his, his baby. baby. So you need to shut up and sit back, because that ain't his that's baby. baby. You don't bad. like her. No, she's a liar. She's well, she, ever since we've been together. She, she can. She, she's mad because she I got what she wants. That's all it is. She oh, is that so, it? She wants him so bad, and I got him. I got him like this.
this. You know, I got him. You really got him? Up. Yes. You know what he, she says? What? You know what she says? She don't hide nothing. She still sees him? Yeah, because she dumb. She know he with me, though. Here's Deidre, everybody. Welcome, Deidre. Here she is. Hi, Deidre. Why don't you like her? Because she don't like me, and she don't have a reason not to like me. She don't like me over Larry. For I what? have a reason. I have a reason. It's not over Larry. It's because you know okay, about me. But you know me, we, no, 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 no. You, you know. know that but Deidre, you stupid. But you're stupid. But you're stupid. You had him I've first for five months. Him. He, he five got me. He got me. He was messing with you, but he got me. Five months. Five months. Five five months. months. No, more like six years. More like six years. More like six years. That sounds stupid. Yes. This is the father of your child? Yes, he is. I'm 100% sure We're gonna that find Larry out. is the father That's of my baby. We're gonna I find wouldn't out. be here if I wasn't if positive. It, if it is, I wouldn't be here if, if I wasn't good. positive. If it is, it's good. Okay, you know it is, it's good. But if it ain't, okay. it's bad. Girl, okay. it's super bad. Okay. It's okay. bad. Okay. 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 You sound young cocky. Deidre. 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 Yes. Is Love Tia uh, accepting a story from Larry that's not true? Everything he tell her is not true. Well, like what? That he is not the father of my baby. That he's what? He's saying that he, she, he told her that he's de he denying my baby, but to me, he be denying her baby to me, too, even before she was, um, the baby was born. Maybe Larry's been playing he, both of them. Exactly. He's been playing her. I got to meet Larry. This is what he had to say. Watch. I love my girlfriend, Latia, and my baby more than anything. We got big plans for the future. I'm going to marry this woman. I made a huge mistake. I cheated on Latia with Deidre. I only slept with her a few times. Deidre said I'm a father of a baby, but that baby don't look nothing like me. I knew she was messing with other men, and this one guy even said he was a father. She knew my situation from the start, but she still tried to get with me anyways. If I'm not the father, DJ needs to stand out my life. Adios. Here's Larry. Larry, come on out. Larry. Larry. You're, you were with her. Nah, and you were with her. I was with her, though. Feel me? Sure, I knew what's up. Boy, you was with both of us at the same time and all Man, I wasn't with you like that. You Larry. mad. You Larry. mad. Why? Mad at the because they hit him with me. That's all in it. Mad at him. That's all in it. 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 Do you regret cheating on her with Deidre? Yeah. You, re you regret that? I regret that. it. Are you the father of L'Oreal? I'm a father. Nah, baby, don't look nothing like me. Now, why the heck are you, uh, got your picture on a cell phone with her? Cause he's oh, a yeah. dad. Cause oh, yeah. he's a dad with you. Oh, yeah. He's a dad with you. He's a dad with you. He was being a good dude. The pictures he took, he was me to take the pictures of them. He to take the pictures of them. He been done. To see, to see, to see, right? To see. That's what I'm doing. Hold up, pictures. Go to the professional pictures. What do you have? That's what I've been doing. You got professional pictures. You what got you professional have? pictures. We do. He's got a cell phone picture. <laughs> you know something? You know something? You want to be with her. Yeah. She yeah, says she wants to be with you. Though. That's what matters. One thing: the paternity test. <laughs> By the way, Love Tia, you're sure that Larry is the father of, of my Larry, baby. Huh? We already know that. You but sure? I'm, yes, I'm positive. You're positive. Yes. When it comes to three and a half baby. month old Larry, Larry, you are the father. <laughs> but there's also this other baby. Oh my God. When it comes to eight month old L'Oreal, Larry, you are the father.
Wait a second. Deidre, this is what I think, okay? Larry, you're going to be a father to these kids, okay? Right? But, Deidre, I think you ought to stay out of their relationship. I'm not in that relationship. I just wanted to get my tabs done. Oh, yeah, right? I'm not in that relationship. And, love, Tia, you got to find out whether you want to stay with him knowing that he's the father of two kids, not one, all right? Okay? We'll be back right after this. Oh, my goodness! Jesus is happy to have a three-month-old baby with his girlfriend, Erica. But they're here because Lacey claims he has a three-month-old baby with her, too. Lacey's a stalker. Jesus is not the father of her baby. Why are you here? She says that Dustin denies her baby for one reason. Dustin's lover, Russell. I'm gay. I really don't believe I'm the father of Malachi. This is a DNA test that will leave you speechless. Dustin. Get out of my face! All of these guests want paternity tests. Everyone, this is Lacey. Welcome, Lacey. The day that Lacey met Jesus was one of the worst days of her life. Because then, after spending time with Jesus for seven months, their friendship turned romantic. She ended up getting pregnant with her now three-month-old baby, Jadiana. Now, what Jesus neglected to mention was that every time he would leave her house, he would then go home to his living girlfriend, Erica. who, by the way, was also pregnant at the same time. And she has a baby exactly the same age as Lacey's. Lacey says Jesus is living a happy life with his girlfriend, Erica, while he denies her baby and has left them out in the cold. That's why. He ain't the father. That's why. He is the father. You don't know. You need to get DNA. So I don't know why you here. Why are you here? Why are you here? Not the father. 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 So, when you found out you were pregnant, you kind of reached out to him, right? Yep, I tried to get a hold of him on MySpace. I tried to get a hold of him through family, through right. his brother. Right, and? Nothing. No answer, no reply, nothing. So, when did he finally show up? He showed up the first time when I was six months pregnant, say, talking about, if the baby's mine, I'll be there. Then he started talking about one night, oh, me and you need to be back together. I love you. We should raise a family together. But then leaves my house at 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning to get on the bus to go home with his new girlfriend, right? But we won't tell that lie either. New girlfriend. <laughs> and you didn't know that she was pregnant? Oh, no, I didn't know she was pregnant until after I told him I was pregnant. He's going to take care of mine. So you think he would uh, own up to the child if it wasn't for Erica? He would own up to her if it wasn't for Erica. Okay. You think so? Oh, yeah, he would. And you don't really know her. Do I don't know-, know nothing about her. This is the first time I've seen her ugly ass. Okay. <laughs> All right, this is what they had to say. Watch. I'm so tired of this girl, Lacey. Always interfering with me and my girlfriend, Erica. I'm just tired of it. Lacey knew that me and Jesus were together when she got pregnant. What kind of whore would sleep with another woman's man? Lacey didn't even tell me she was pregnant until she was six months in. How do you go that long without even knowing? If we changed our number, it was because Lacey's a stalker. After this DNA test, she's the one who had to go into hiding when she finds out Jesus is not the father of her baby. Lacey slept with at least three of my friends that I know of. How do I know that baby's mine? Lacey needs to mind her own business and realize that me and Jesus, we're happy right now. After we get these results, we're going to rid our lives of Lacey, her baby, and her drama. All right, here they are, Jesus and Erica. Right? When do you find out that he might have another child? When I was nine months pregnant. Nine months pregnant. And, it, are, and are they exactly the same age? Uh, almost close, about two weeks apart. Oh. Right? Why would you even mess with a dude who has a girlfriend who told you that we was together? Oh, definitely you never did. So therefore, you didn't nobody care about you because he wasn't with you. Wasn't he wasn't with me. He, he wasn't with you. When he stayed, he 
me weeks on end. When he stayed with me weeks on end. He stayed with me weeks on end. When he never came home to you, he was with me, right? Right? When he never went over there, when he never came with me, right? Right? I was never with him. He was there with me, right? When he was there with me, right? When he was there with me, right? Sorry, Maury. I love Maury. I love you, Maury. I watch Thank you, you every much. day. Oh, I'm <laughs> I called the show. I called the show. I called before. You couldn't okay. get a hold of him. So okay, Eric, 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 I want to, uh, okay, let's go okay. back, mm -hmm. all right? You all together. Mm -hmm. Been together for two years. When, Almost three. When, Obviously when, not when happily. You, when do you find out? <laughs> everybody. Obviously not happily. Hey, Zeus, you were with Lacey, right? <laughs> yeah. You were with her. Well, we wasn't together. It was just, uh... Right, you were with her. We, we was party buddies. Okay. <laughs> I got four baby moms, Maury. <laughs> yeah, five kids days. currently. If, if J.D. I met my kid, I told her I would, I would help her. I'll be father. there. He's a great father. He takes care of his I have all my kids. I take care of all my kids. So if you were your child, you'd take care of her. Definitely. You are spread very thin as a father, Okay. <laughs> And you're spread as about as thin as one can be. So my advice would be, put a cap on it. It's the end. It's she not the barely point. knew him. Erica, barely knew him. You Erica, don't know what happened. So every you might child, be every child. I want to tell you something. Every child that comes and he feels responsible takes away from him caring. For the children he already has, okay? Keep We're gonna word. find out right now. <laughs> In the case of four month old Jadiana, Jesus, you are not yes! the father. A mistake. She thought that he was the father. Obviously. Obviously. Okay. All right. So what it is is you're out of this woman's life. Thank God. And so Thank is God. Jesus. She says that Dustin denies her baby for one reason. Dustin's lover, Russell. I'm gay. I really don't believe I'm the father of Malachi. I get the feeling you don't like Russell. You weren't even there when my baby was born. Sure, I'm here now. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Later? She knew for a fact that I was gay. It was an experiment. I was the first female who ever... Uh, that's not true. That was your female you gay not... This is a DNA test that will leave you speechless. Dustin. Yes. All of these guests want paternity tests. This is Kayla. Welcome, Kayla, to the show. Everybody. Now, three years ago... Kayla fell head over heels in love with her best friend, Dustin. See, that's Dustin. Now, at that point, their relationship turned physical. They had sex. And that's when Kayla believes her now one-year-old son, Malachi, was conceived. But see, there are two problems here. First of all, Dustin denies he's the father of Kayla's child. And... And the second problem for Kayla is the reason for the denial. You see, there's somebody else in Dustin's life who doesn't believe this baby is here. It's Dustin's lover, Russell. When I first met Dustin, we were best friends. I always knew that he was gay, but we ended up falling in love. Neither of us expected it to happen. Dustin always wanted to have children, and we ended up having a beautiful baby boy named Malachi. Dustin started to deny Malachi one year ago when he met his boyfriend, Russell. Russell started telling Dustin that Malachi looked nothing like him and that he wasn't the father. Dustin's now convinced that I was cheating on him around the time I got pregnant with Malachi. Since Dustin's been with Russell, he hasn't done anything for his son. All I want is for Dustin to be there for our baby. When the test comes back that Dustin's the father, Russell needs to shut his mouth. Okay.
What you're setting up here, Kayla, is Dustin was fine with being the father of Malachi. Yes. So you're saying that his boyfriend is the one that turned him around. Yeah. And so that he would deny the baby. Yeah. So when you met Dustin, did you know he was gay? Yes. Oh. Were you trying to turn him? No. Me and Dustin started hanging out. We became friends, pretty right. much. He started helping me. You know, I didn't have, like, a stable place to stay. And we ended up hooking up, and we got into a relationship. And he proposed to me well, when well, I was... He proposed to you? Yes, he proposed to me. So he wanted... He, you, you think that he was trying to make a life change. Is that what it was? Yes, I do believe that. I Why get the feeling that? you don't like Russell. No, I don't. I don't like you neither. Because I don't think he should have his two cents in mine and Dustin's business. I, I do I, whenever I, he's my lover. Like, I don't care if you're a female. I, I have the right. Man, but you have no I right to be, be in my business. But I have the right. You weren't even there when my baby was born. I don't care. I'm here now. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Later? Wish you had kids. I'm just mad because you wish you had kids. Whatever. Shit. Whatever. All right. Why? This is what Dustin had. Kayla and I were never in a serious relationship. I'm gay. Kayla was an experiment. I really don't believe I'm the father of Malachi. She even said she knew she was pregnant the minute after we had sex. I was there for her pregnancy because I always wanted to have children. Then I started hearing that she was sleeping with different men while she got pregnant. My boyfriend, Russell, hates Kayla. Kayla's jealous of our relationship, and she's using the baby to try to break us up. If this DNA test proves that I am not the father, Kayla needs to stop obsessing and get on with her life. Everybody, here's Dustin. Dustin, come on out. Dustin, it was a bad experiment. Um, it was just because the fact that I am gay and gay people aren't fortunate to That's have what kids. That's then. what people don't realize. And she knew for a fact that I was gay. I was with my other lover at the time. And at that time, she just, me and, me and Kayla had, be, we had developed a friendship. And then it was like, it was an experiment. Right. Hold and on. You remember what you said? I was the first female who ever got Yeah, but this is, uh, that's not true. How can a female get a gay man? That's not true. 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 This is my turn. You shut up. You shut up. This is my turn. Shut up. I don't care who you are. I don't care. I don't care who you are. Shoot, you ain't no female. I care less. That's what I care. You want to have children? Yes, I did want to have children. Do you still want to have children? No, not no more. Because a psycho bitch is like this. You're finna look stupid. You're finna look very that's, stupid. Uh, if I, if he, look very that's stupid. okay. Because if, if he is mine, I want an apology afterwards. If he is mine, then I will give him an apology and I'll step up to the plate and I'll be a man. If but you, you know what? You know what? You get off your boyfriend's on the plate. No, I'm not getting off of him. him. But you no, know I'm what? Saying, that he was never, ever challenging whether he was the father of this child until you came along. That's a, that's a lie. That is a lie. I've always... <laughs> I've always had that question we'll in my see. mind from day one. Why are you so sure he's, he's not the father? Because of the certain things that have been said about her. Oh. You think she wants him back? I know she does. No, I don't. She told me. Me. She wants She's to have another baby. I have love for him. She yeah, wants to have I have another love baby. For him. Him. I, have she wants I was with him for almost two man. years, Maury. Okay. There is not a reason for me to lie yeah. about this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
Russell, if, you would take if he's the father of this child, to. you got to uh, back we, we off, okay? We all will find out. I will, but she needs to back off and quit being a bitch so we can take care of this. Okay. Because if he's my kid, if he's my kid, if he's my kid, if he's my kid, he's got to be Because I have no money. Two men daddy. Two I am not having here. my kid called two men daddy. No. I am not having my kid called two men daddy. When it comes to one and a half year old Malachi, Dustin, you are the father. <laughs> The drama's not over. You won't believe what happened backstage. You not get my son for me. It's he said, she said. We planned a night of passion, whining, dying. It wasn't no whining and dying. It was just a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Now one baby is denied. Well done, thank you, ma'am. And it's up to one DNA test to find out the truth. Jarrell. All of these guests want paternity tests. Now, everybody knows you don't mix business with pleasure, uh, except my next guest. Liana was working as manager at a chicken restaurant, and then they had a new cook named Jarrell, and he got hired. And after uh, weeks of flirting, they planned a night of whining and dining and sex. <laughs> but what... What Leanna didn't plan was the baby she had nine months later named Jamarion. So today, Jarrell has a different recollection of that night, but he knows two things for sure. A, he wore protection, and B, Jamarion is not his baby. Exactly one year ago, I learned that a one-night stand could turn into a whole lot of drama. November 2008, Jarrell and I had sex at exactly 12 o'clock a.m. Ten weeks till that day, I found out I was pregnant with Jarrell's baby. From day one, Jarrell has denied Jamarian, and he still does till this day. My son looks identical to Jarrell. He has his eyes, his ears, his nose, even his small little private part. We whined and died. We planned this night of passion, and now he wants to leave me and Jamarian in the dust? Not only is Jarrell denying my son, his mother's denying my son, too. Today, Jarrell and his mom is going to have a brand new member in their family. His son, Jamarian Tyrese. So, so, you all met at the restaurant. Yes, sir. Yes, Lord. I was Jarrell's manager at a chicken joint. Right. We met, we played, we played a night of passion, whining, dining, and everything. Went out to eat, we had a couple of drinks or whatever. Right. Got, went to the hotel, right. had sex, the condom broke. You know what he told me, Maury? Right. If I wind up pregnant, he was going to help me take care of my son. And what happened? He hasn't done anything for my son. Nothing? Nothing. And there's also one other thing that you say that they look alike, but which we can't see. What is that? Oh, my God, Maury. My son has a Jarrell's small little private part. My son has a You think they look alike? They look alike! Oh my God, they look anything like me! No. So, we're gonna talk to Jarrell. This is what he had to say. Watch. I never thought a one night stand with my manager would bring so much drama to my life. Me and Liana, who was cool, but she know flipped the script. Now she a crazy ass baby mama. Come on now, me and Liana had sex one time with a condom and I ain't even finished. This wasn't no wine and dine. It was just a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Keep it 100. I look good. I got a good job. That's the only reason she want me in the baby's life. Come on, now, I already know y'all whole neighborhood. You feel me? And I ain't finna give up all my hard-earned money. I'm not about to take care of a kid that's not mine. So when these results come back and I'm not the father, shut them hit you up for child support because you acting like a child. Here's Jarrell. Jarrell, come on out. Come on, look at the baby. Right, the baby don't even look like me. My son is beautiful. Oh, yeah, he's cute. He's cute. He's cute. Don't look like me, though, Charlie. Keep it 100, man. 
for real, man. Come on, you got on, everything. Charlie. You had him. One it's night, going. one time. It's one, all one time. time. You walk the tax. And I walk the tax. I walk the tax. One time, boy. He didn't go back to school. That's what he needed to do. How come you didn't? How come your family didn't come to the baby show? Because it was a one night stand. Oh. Yes, yes. It was not in a but relationship. Pete, it wasn't a relationship. She made that plain and clear that right. it was not a relationship. Right. A one night stand. Just That's show me. Just show well, me the DNA. We're gonna find out right now. Okay. We're gonna find out. In the case of three-month-old Jamari, Jewel, you are not. Glad to help you, all right? Okay. But he's not the father. I understand. Okay. All right? I understand. All right. Jolene has been sleeping with her husband and her lover for the past nine years. Who's the father of her four kids? What is going on? Oh. I'm torn. I have feelings for the two. I am torn. Four DNA tests, four unforgettable results. I'm gay. You are the father. <laughs> The drama's not over. You won't believe what happened backstage. All of these guests want maternity tests. Everybody, this is Rick. Now, backstage is his wife of eight years, Jolene. Now, Rick has come to the show to prove to Jolene that he is the father of all four of her kids. Now think about this, did you hear what I said? They've been married eight years. But just months after getting married, Jolene left Rick at a moment for another guy named Jesse. And now for the last eight years, Rick says that Jolene has been back and forth between Rick and Jesse and Rick and Jesse to the point that there are four kids that he thinks they're his and Jesse thinks they're his. Aww. Once she proves it, she says she wants a divorce from you. I've been in love with my wife since we were 12 years old. And even though she won't admit it, there's a good possibility that all four of these kids are mine. Andy, when I look at her, I see my blue eyes and my nose and just think she's my daughter. After Mandy, we had Nathaniel. He and her were together at the time on and off. When it comes to the twins, she says that they're definitely Jesse's, but we were sleeping together at the time also. For the past nine years, we have not stopped sleeping together. Whenever he goes to work or he's not there, I'm there. Well, to be honest, we slept together last week. If any of these kids are mine, Jesse needs to step aside and let me take care of them. So, Jolene thinks that Rick could be the father of one, Mandy, the oldest. But that the rest, the other three, they belong to Jesse. Jolene says, you all haven't been together, and except for the oldest one, the other ones are Jesse's. Oh, I know it's a complete lie. We've been together, like I said, for uh, the past nine years. Right. There, there's been a... Well, guess what? <laughs> you took a lie detector test, too, didn't you? Yep. Okay, what are those? This is what Jesse and Jolene had to say. Watch this. I met Rick. We dated for a while, and we got married at 18. A couple months went by. We realized it wasn't working out. I met someone new, which is Jesse. Eight years later, I'm still with Jesse, but I'm still technically married to Rick. I have four beautiful children. I believe three of them are Jesse's, and one of them are Rick's. I love my family. I'd do anything for them. No matter how the DNA test results comes out, I'm stay here and take care of them. It's difficult because Rick comes along and he says he's dad, and me and Jesse are trying to move along. Jolene and I need this DNA test to prove these kids are mine once and for all and get Rick out of our lives. I really hope that all four kids are Jesse's. I can get a divorce and never look back. And 
here are Jolene and Jesse. Can't wait to talk. To them. Hi, Jolene. Jesse, nice to talk. To Jolene, you all get along. You know, you know each other. Yeah, okay. we know each other. You're civil to each other. Yeah, you're civil. Civil country. Yeah. Involved, right? Of and Jolene, here. you are the linchpin to this whole thing. Yes, I am. Are you a confused puppy or what? I'm torn. I'm torn between the two. I have feelings for the two. Yeah. And I care. Who so do you I'm... think is the father of these kids? Nathaniel, Ashton, and Adelyn, I believe, are Jesse's. Those are the three youngest. Yes. And that baby picture is of Mandy, of right? Mandy, yes. And so you think that there's a possibility that Rick is the father of Mandy. Yes. Jesse, what do you think? Same thing. I believe the three are mine and 50 chance of the other one. Uh, after today, are you going to be seeing both these guys or just one? Just one. Just one? Just one. And that would be? Because after today, with my results, I'm going to get a divorce. Well, first we're going to find out whether you actually have been. <laughs> We asked Rick if you've had sexual intercourse with Jolene for the last nine years. You said yes. The lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. We asked you, did you have sexual intercourse with Jolene in the last week and a half? You said yes. The lie detector test determined you were telling the truth. We asked you, do you go over to Jolene's house when Jesse is at work? You said yes. The lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. Well, guess what? What we really want to find out is, who's the father of the children? We're going to find out. Who's the father of the four kids? Four DNA tests. Four unforgettable results. I'm gay. You are the father. The drama's not over. You won't believe what happened backstage. All of these guests want paternity tests. I've been in love with my wife since we were 12 years old, and even though she won't admit it, there's a good possibility that all four of these kids are mine. I have four beautiful children. I believe three of them are Jesse's, and one of them are Rick's. I love my family. I'd do anything for them. No matter how the DNA test results comes out, I'm staying here and take care of them. We're going to uh, start with the oldest, Mandy. Okay. In the case of five-year-old Mandy, Jesse, you are not the father. Rick, you are the father. In the case of four-year-old Nathaniel, Rick, you are not the father. Jesse, you are the father. In the case of the 17-month-old twins, Ashton and... Natalie. Natalie. Rick, you are not the father. Jesse... You are the father. So it's just as you thought. All we care about is that those four kids have a good life and are well taken care of. And have a lot of love. We'll be back right after this. I'm gay. I really don't believe I'm the father of Malachi. You are the father. The drama's not over. You won't believe what happened. Dave. You're not getting my son for me! Oh, my. I'm not, I'm not, get out of my face, that's my son! All of these guests want paternity tests. Earlier, Kayla came to the show to prove to Dustin and his boyfriend Russell that he was the father of her baby. I'm gay. I really don't believe I'm the father of Malachi. I get the feeling you don't like Russell. You weren't even there when my baby was born. I'm here now. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? She knew for a fact that I was gay. It was an experiment. I was the first female who ever... Uh, that's not true. That's not true. Wants him back. I know she does. No, I don't. It's not right about that. You're lying yeah. about. We're gonna find out. Right. <laughs> Dustin, you are the father. <laughs> Backstage, executive producer Paul Fallhaber 
tried to get these three to come to terms with the situation. Do you really have a problem with the gay lifestyle? Is that yes, she does. Yes, I do. They're together. You have to accept that. He's the father. I'm, I'm accepting the He gay needs life. to be nice You're to not you. accepting the gay part. My son that you guys is not going to call two men daddy. He don't have to call yes, Russell daddy. That's fine. Daddy. There will be a They're my fight. kids, okay? What are you? are freaking wrong. You are wrong, Kayla. Whatever. You don't need to just get out of the face, you stupid idiot. You're a bastard. Whatever. Both of y'all. Watch. 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 You ain't Watch. getting my son. You're not getting my son from me. Oh, I've done it this Get out of my face, that's my son. That is my son, Kayla. I did. Oh, I dare you, Justin. I've done this by myself. I'm good. By myself. I'm, you know what? I'm not going to take him from you. But he is going to come to my house. No, I'm going to be able no, to see not. my kids. You I know what? You. I'm not going to. You know what? Let's calm down. We sincerely hope that these three can find a way to work through all of their issues for the sake of Malika. Until next time, America. Drama on Marin witnessed the full impact of the truth. Get away from me! They say they have the evidence, and they're about to see the proof. But all of these guests want to know if people in their families are hiding shocking secret sex lives. Kylie is here to find out if her husband had a sexual affair with her very own mother. I want to know if you ever slept with my mom. Her husband says it never happened. Hell no. It's not what you said when you wanted it. But her mother wants her husband to admit the truth. Watch it. The lie detector results are in. Did her husband have a sexual affair with her mother? The lie detector test determined. Ah! Oh, I'm not. Ah! I want out. I'm leaving. This teen is terrified that her 35-year-old boyfriend is cheating on her. Just because I'm young don't mean I don't know nothing. And if that wasn't enough, he also says he's not the father of her baby. I know I'm going to pass this lie detector test because his baby might not be mine. One lie detector test and one paternity test. It equals the two most unexpected results of the year. Plus. Chris thinks Angela cheated and now wants DNA proof that he's the father of both of their kids. Chris. Chris. You won't believe what happens. Shocking secret sex lives exposed next. Everyone, this is Kylie. Welcome Kylie to the show. Now, Kylie is here to uncover the truth about her husband Eli's sex life past sex life and present sex life. See, Kylie suspects that Eli is sleeping with other women behind her back. <laughs> but, but, the real drama stems from who Eli was dating before he got together with Kylie. See, because there's a woman who claims that she and Eli had a five-year hot relationship right before he started dating Kylie. And the woman is Kylie's own mother, Lisa. But Eli says he never dated Kylie's mother, ever. This is the story, and it's a good one. When I first started dating Eli, I was happy, he was happy. It was the best. He never treated me back, and now he does. He just treats me like, like I'm nothing to him. Two months into our relationship, my mom told me that Eli and her were sleeping together for five years. I was shocked. She told me because, she, you know, I had to know. When I confronted Eli about my mom and him sleeping together, he told me it wasn't true, and I think he's sleeping with other girls now. I'm finding other girls' stuff in my house. He says I'm a liar and I'm stupid. I want to know if Eli is cheating on me and if he ever slept with my mom. So, Eli took the lie detector test. We're going to find out who's telling the truth and we're going to have the result. Thank you. Mother never said a thing? Uh, she told me um, 
about two months into our relationship that she had a five-year relationship with Eli. And what did I leave? And, what, and what did Eli tell you? He said it wasn't true. But you're as much worried about that and finding out the answer to that as you are about Eli's current life. Yes. How is Eli's current life? <laughs> Think he's cheating on me? You do. <laughs> I'm finding other women's underwear in my room. I'm finding girls' compact mirrors. He, I have a um, sex toy, and it was used when I was gone for four years. Well, Eli took the lie detector test. He claims he is not cheating on you, and that he's never had a sexual relationship with you. But welcome, Eli, to the show, everybody. Five-year relationship. Oh, no. Why? Why, why would Lisa said, mother tell it. her daughter? <laughs> I've known this family forever. Right. She made me run through girl after girl. She knows how I am, and the way yes, I used to always cheating? be. The way I used to cheating? always be. You shut your mouth. Hey, cheating, you? you will. You'll see it when. See the damn results from the test, and yeah. then you'll be able to keep what? your mouth shut. Then you better shut. kiss my feet. I can't wait to meet Kylie's mother, Lisa. Here she is. So, Lisa. Oh, hey, why don't you just tell the truth now while you got a chat? Oh, you yeah? little lying. Why don't you dumb face when I ask her? Watch it. So, Lisa, let's, hey, let's everybody be quiet. Lisa, Lisa. I'm sorry. You Why? saw this guy for five years. Well, you know, Off I on. had nothing else going on. And how did you react when he started dating your I daughter? I was pissed off, and I told her right away. As soon as I saw it happen, starting to go on, I took him aside in private and told him, don't touch my daughter. He said, oh, I'm not doing that. I'm like, yeah, you lying twit, don't. All right, I'm going to hate you, and it's going to look bad for both of us. And look, we're on national TV now because you can't tell the truth, you lying jerk. You might as well find out right now with this lie. Oh. We asked you, are you attracted to Kylie's mother, Lisa, Eli? You said no. The lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. Yeah. We asked you, have you had any type of sexual contact with Kylie's mother, Lisa? You said no. The lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. Over here, sit down. Wait a second. I, I gotta I gotta bring up Ralph, our lie detector administrator, on this one, okay? Ralph, he passed. He passed that question with flying colors. Really? Yep. Thank you, Ralph. We asked you, did the underwear that Kylie found in your house belong to a woman that you were having sexual intercourse with? You said no, the lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. <laughs> We asked you, did you uh, use the sex toy to have any type of sexual contact with another woman? <laughs> you said no. The lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. Oh, hold on, hold on. We asked you, during your relationship oh, with Kylie, you had any type of sexual contact with another woman? You said no. The lie detector test you're determined up, you? you're telling the truth. Yeah. Wow. He passed everything. He passed everything, Maura. Thank you very much. Jeff. Where are you going, Lisa? There's no reason that I'm a liar. And he's a 
King and Lisa, he's a Lisa, lying shirt. Lisa, I told the truth, people. Yeah, what's the story on Lisa? Lisa, here's here's Not. the deal. He's spending a lot of his. Lisa, I believe, does have feelings for Eli, which may have resulted in her really believing that they were involved, even though they weren't. It was in her head. And she is on a mission, and this is not to bash her, but she's on a mission to break the two of you up because she has her own issues. Uh -huh. Eli, don't feed into it. I don't. Okay? Don't, and you shouldn't feed into it either, Kylie, because the two of you need to spend your energy together. The more you disrespect her and call her names and say all those things, you're disrespecting your wife. Instead, spend and that energy working, as Maria said, and talking with your wife. Well, I can tell you this. You all have given me one of the strangest lie detector segments I have ever done on this show. We'll be back right after this. No, your no, she's, still, she's got her little your husband. Daughter, she's your got her husband. She can keep him. I'll love her no matter what she does. So she you're can gonna, stay with so him. So you're going to abandon her now? I'll never this? abandon her. Oh, that man is a liar. I was telling the truth. I am not going to come here and waste everybody's time. He's the one who is a liar. Stay with him, Kylie, if that's what you want. You're destroying my life. Hey, if I could say I did, I would. I'd stand right here and say, I'm a liar. I brought us all out here for it nothing. It was just proven. But it, um, it was proven it. to your satisfaction. So, what are you saying that the lie detector test was wrong? Yes. It I is think the truth. You might have just a little obsession over him. Oh, I, I hate lie, him. But you do. Mom. I. I hate him, Kylie. This teen is terrified that her 35-year-old boyfriend is cheating on her. Just because I'm young don't mean I don't know nothing. And if that wasn't enough, he also says he's not the father of her baby. I know I'm going to pass this lie detector test because this baby might not be mine. One lie detector test and one paternity test. It equals the two most unexpected results of the year. Shocking secret sex lives exposed next. Everyone, this is Daisha. Welcome Daisha to the show. Now, she is very, very sad, very upset. You see, a year ago when Daisha was just 18, she says a man named Miguel, who was 17 years older than she, swept her off her feet. Three months later, Daisha discovered she was pregnant with her baby, Jeremiah. <laughs> and that's when her world turned upside down. You see, uh, Daisha says, women started calling Miguel's cell phone. He began to stay out all night. She found a pair of sexy thong panties in his truck. Fears he may be having sex with some of her family members. I have devoted my entire life to Miguel, but I have a strong feeling that Miguel is cheating on me. I done found condoms in the trunk of his car, lace panties that wasn't even mad, and even scratches on his back. I think he's even cheating on me with my family members and my friends. I'm only 19. And I think the reason he's cheating on me is because he wants somebody older than me. I need him to be there for me and my child not running around with other girls that's older than me. I love this man. I want to grow old with this man. <laughs> but I can't take this no more. You love him? Yes, I do, Maury. I love him to death. I want to be with this man. I want to marry this man. I have a beautiful little boy with this man. But the lies and stuff, I can't take it. <laughs> but you see, you think because you're a teenager, he's going out with other women? Yes. Because they, they have more experience? Is that... Maybe. I mean, just because I'm young don't mean I don't know nothing. I, mama didn't raise no fool. So, I want to set this up for everybody. So, three days ago, you tried to have a romantic night with uh, Miguel, right? What, what did you do? end up going to the store trying to find something so sexy for him. Right. I end up yeah. cooking dinner. I, I made steak, smashed potatoes, sweet peas, cornbread. I ran his bath water. I, know, I rubbed him down, gave him a good massage, and all I asked, all I asked for 
Omari was some love and he turned me away. Guess what? He now said, not the father of your child. Oh! What about that? It's driving me crazy. Look at that little boy. Come on now. My baby is the most beautiful baby, you know? His first son. His first baby boy. And I gave it to him. And he goes sit up there and deny my little boy. Come on now. What kind of man are you? We gave him a lie detector test. And just to set the record straight, we gave you all a paternity test. Yeah. <laughs> just to prove to him. Okay. This is what Miguel had to say. Watch. Daisha means the world to me. It hurts me to my heart that she accused me of cheating on her. But I'm also angry because this baby might not be mine. Daisha accuses me of sleeping with her family and all of her friends. The fact that I'm older than Daisha makes me feel insecure. My age is only going one way, and that's up. I love her, and I want to be with her forever. But we can't be together if she doesn't trust me. I want her to stop accusing me and put trust back into our relationship. I know I'm going to pass this lie detector test to prove to her I have not cheated on her. It hurts me so bad, it makes me want to change my mind about marrying Daisha. But my love is so strong for her, regardless if I'm the child's father or not, I'm always going to love Daisha. His love is that strong. Did you hear that? His love is so if strong. If it was so strong, he wouldn't be putting me through this. Right. I wouldn't be here right now if he loved me so much. Here's Miguel. Miguel, come on out. You love this woman. I love her more. I love her to death. You love her to death. Yeah. You want to be with her. I want to be with so her. So when she made you that big evening with all that food and massaging you and doing all these things, why'd you push her away? Because, Maury, I, 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 I don't feel comfortable being accused. No. Being I'm not accused accusing you. It day, was the evidence day, in your day, car. Day, I'm accused. Come on, I found condoms in your car. You Lord, said they I weren't yours. I turned over backwards. She, see, she said I'm sleeping truck. with her family. Who would, who would put condoms I in that truck now? I turned over backwards for this hurt. For this girl on, and her man. family. No, I put my elbow. family aside for with her elbow. family. Okay, if you did that, you wouldn't be denying Period. my baby. Oh, oh, baby. baby. Oh, oh, baby. Oh, 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 baby. Lord, Lord, the reason why I'm denying the baby oh. is because it's the same thing, day in, day out. We're going to settle this right now. We'll do the paternity oh. result. When it comes to one and a half month old Jeremiah, Miguel, you are the father. I do what I gotta do. I raised my 13 year old to the best right now. Well, I'm gonna raise him to the best. I'm gonna raise him to the best. Okay, yeah, so well, now. Well, do it. Do it. Don't you now. All right, here we asked you, are you still in love with Daisha? You said the lie detector test determined yeah. you're telling the truth. <laughs> we asked you, during your relationship with Daisha, have you ever had sexual intercourse with any of your female friends? You said no, the lie detector test determined that was a lie. You tell Daisha. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. I'm not lying. I ain't had no sex with nobody. The test is lying. You are lying. We asked you if you are denying if you are denying little Jeremiah because you are <laughs> cheating. You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. You are denying my baby because you're cheating on me. Baby, I'm you not cheating. I'm not, not cheating on you. Because you're cheating on me. I'll take another you test. Me, I'm not cheating on you. Another test, he'd fail again. For all these, all these other women. I don't women, even want I, to hear your excuse. You don't, you're no a sorry excuses. ass person. It's no you excuses. are sorry. I well, know I'll it's sorry. Well, well, I'll be sorry. Well, I'll be well, sorry. Well, you can take but your I, sorry butt home and get out my house. If that's how it is, then that ain't fine then. Bye. Bye. I can do bad without you. 
Will this teen leave her much older boyfriend? The update is coming up. She says she has the evidence that her boyfriend's a cheater. She found another woman's panties in their laundry room. He says he's been faithful. A woman instincts don't lie. And has taken a lie detector test to prove it. The lie detector determined. <laughs> Get away from me! Shocking secret sex lives exposed next. Everyone, this is Tanika. Welcome, Tanika, to the show. Now. Tanika's worried. She says she spent every minute of every day for the past two years worrying that her fiancé, La Costa, is cheating. You see, Tanika says she found another woman's panties in their laundry room. One time, La Costa came home. He wasn't wearing underwear. But Tanika says La Costa has excuses for everything. See, when she complained that he had scratches on his back, he said the cat... The cat don't have no claws. The cat has no don't claws. Have no claws. Watch this, everybody. I'm out of my mind because my, my life cheating on me. <laughs> I think he's sleeping with all the women on by my back. Every time we get into an argument, he leaves, and I think he's sleeping with other females. I found all drawers in the bedroom that wasn't even mine. He came home without underwear on, and I even found scratches on his back. He even tried to tell me that the cat did it. My stomach is turning upside down from this, and I can't take this anymore. He took the lie detector test. What do you got there? Some drawers that ain't even mine. Where'd they come from? In the laundry room. I asked him, oh, I don't know where they come from. Come home with no drawers on. Oh, I was we uh, some soda spilled on me. What that got to do with you not having no drawers on? Okay, Tanika. This, this is what LaCosta had to say. I love Tanika to death. Sometimes I can't take it because she's always accusing me of cheating. I want to marry her and build a family together. But we have to put this on hold because of all her insecurity. Tanika needs to grow up if she wants to have a healthy relationship because this isn't it right here. Everybody. Bring them out. Here's Bring them out. I don't want, I don't want, I would not want to be on her bad side. My instinct, my, woman instincts I'm don't lie. I'm tired of it, man. I'm tired of it. always go with your first instinct. You always go with your first instinct, mate. I'm tired, man. You tired? I'm well, tired. damn, I must be dead, then, you tired. she says you have an answer for everything. Yes, he did. Right. Scratches on your back, the cat, where the cat at? That was fine. The cat, the family cat. The family cat. The family cat. What do you do? Kick me like this? Which one is it? Which one is it? Then you got some cheap perfume on. Cheap perfume? I don't wear. Hey, my God. Mark ain't got nothing to do with this right now. This me and you. This me and you. Mark just a guy right now. He just a guy right now. They talk right here. Talk to me. Okay. Talk to me. Tanika, Tanika. Yes. <laughs> I'm right. We asked you if that extra large underwear that Tanika found in your bedroom <laughs> came from another woman you were having sexual contact with. You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. smelling like another female's perfume we asked you was it because you were having sexual intercourse with another woman you said no the lie detector test determined that was a lie <laughs> we laughed during your relationship have you ever had sexual intercourse with any of your neighbors you said no the lie detector test determined that was a lie <laughs> we asked you 
We asked you. You told another woman that you wanted to marry her. You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. One deal, Bates. We asked you. Turn right, turn if you right. wanted to marry Tanika, you said yes. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. That's all I'm. Mine. Listen, Get please, off me! Please. Get away from me! I don't know you! I'm done! I'm done! I'm done! He lost the good woman! He lost you? He lost it. Chris thinks Angela cheated and now wants DNA proof that he's the father of both of their kids. I have people laugh at me every day, tell me that neither one of them is mine. Two paternity tests. Chris. Chris. <laughs> You won't believe what happened. Shocking secret sex lives exposed next. Everyone, this is Angela. Welcome, Angela, to the show. Now, see, Angela, she's scared. Because she says if she doesn't prove to her boyfriend, Chris, that both of their sons are his, two-year-old Tyson and nine-month-old Tyler, he is going to abandon her. Chris suspects that Angela's cheated on him. He's worried that those two boys, who he has loved and raised, may belong to another man. Watch. I'm going through so much pain right now because the love of my life doesn't trust me. Chris is denying our children because he thinks I cheated on him. It hurts me that he would think I would do that to him. I would never cheat on Chris. I want to marry him and spend the rest of my life with him. Chris told me if even one of the kids wasn't his, he was leaving me. I'm 100% sure that Tyler and Tyson are his. I hope when these results come back, he'll grow up and quit accusing me of cheating on him. I love Chris with all my heart, and he's the only one that I trust. If I lose him, I'm going to lose myself. So, we gave Angela a lie detector test. We gave the whole family the DNA test. We're going to find out the results of all of this. But does he also think you've cheated or just... Yes. Besides he, that. He accuses me, and I, I don't know why. He accuses me of it. And, but I, it's not like you come up missing or anything, do no, you? No. I mean, I, I stay home all the time. I don't go anywhere or nothing. And just whenever this is proved that I don't, I just want to go on and be a family like he was. Well, we might as well find out what he has to say, all right? This is what Chris had to say. I love Angela with all my heart. She means the world to me. But my heart is broken because I don't believe that Tyler and Tyson is mine. I struggle every day because my family members and my friends laugh at me and tell me these kids are not mine. I want to be able to show them that these are my kids. I love those boys more than anything in this world. And even if one of them aren't mine, it will just tear my world apart. I love Angela. I want to be with her. I want to marry her. I pray every day that these boys are mine. Here's Chris, your boyfriend. Chris, come on. Chris, nice to see you. Good to see you. So, your family get on you? Yeah. I have people laugh at me every day, tell me that neither one of them is mine. Really? Tell me that I'm a fool for trying to raise kids that don't belong to me. Why don't they mind their own business? I, I wish they would it. sometimes. You, do you have doubts? I have doubts, yeah, because of what people say, how they say it. Because they put me. these doubts in your head. We gave uh, Angela a lie detector test and a paternity test. So we're gonna we're gonna deal with the lie detector test first, right? Okay, here are the results. Here they go. All right. Angela, during your relationship with Chris, have you ever had sexual intercourse with any other man? You said no, and the lie detector test determined that was a lie. More than one lie. Was that a lie? I came up with more than one man. No, no. We're going together. No, 
I want to know again because that's why that. talked about breaking up at times and things like that. But Marie, she denies even during breakups having sex with another man. Oh, I think it's more important to find out about the kids, okay? That's, that's more important. When it comes to nine-month-old Tyler, Chris, you are the father. When it comes to two-year-old Tyson, Chris, you are not. Chris, Chris, you're the only father this child has known. I'm the only one he's gonna know. The, the only one, you're, you're the only one he's gonna know? Yeah. That's it? Yeah. <laughs> Y'all going to stay a family? You're yeah. going to stay a family? Yeah. Okay, Angela, I think both of y'all should work on your relationship. You can speak to my counselor, and I hope you remain a family yeah. because you're a good father. We'll be back right after this. Thank you. She has suspicions that her husband cheated on her with 50 women. He says no way, but our hidden camera caught him definitely cheating with one. This teen's much older boyfriend failed the lie detector test. Will Daisha stay with him or will she go? The update is coming up. Shocking secret sex lives exposed next. Everyone, this is Amanda. Welcome Amanda to the show. She's been in love with her husband, Mariko, for three years. He has broken her heart and admitted that he cheated. However, after Amanda had a miscarriage, she says that Mariko swore he'd be 100% faithful. But then Mariko came home with makeup on his shirt, lipstick on his cheek, and stains on his boxer. So now Amanda because of this, has gained 50 pounds because of the stress. Oh. Terrified that Mariko may not be attracted to her anymore and may be cheating on her again with as many as 50 women. Oh. Yeah. I love Mariko with everything I have. He's everything to me. We have a beautiful one-year-old daughter together. Mariko's cheated on me and has hurt me really bad in the past. I've had two miscarriages from the stress that I've had with Rico. After my second miscarriage, he swore he would never cheat on me again, but all the signs are still there. I found makeup on his shirt, lipstick on his cheek. I have found text messages from other girls and Rico still tells me he's not cheating on me. Different women call my house and say that they're pregnant by Rico or they have babies by Rico. All I want is for my family to be together and for him just to be faithful to me. So here's the thing. You work? I work. I work two jobs. Take care of our family. I mean... He's cheating again. I do. Well, before Everything. we bring out Mariko, this is what he had to say. I love Amanda with all my heart and soul. I would never do anything to hurt her, especially cheating on her. It's exhausting that every day she accuses me of cheating on her with a different woman. We've been through two miscarriages and that devastated both of us. Sometimes I think that she don't consider my feelings. She needs to find out that I'm not happy with the way this relationship's going. Cause she's driving me crazy, and she's driving herself crazy. We got a beautiful baby together. And my biggest fear is that she's going to leave me and take her with her. Now, Amanda, before we bring Mariko out here, there's something uh, you may want to see. Because last night, <laughs> our undercover investigator, David Talley, uh, with our special ops unit, put two of his decoys in a room with Mariko. And this is 
And this is what happened. Watch. Between me and you, how many times did you cheat? Well, I can't even count. When's the last time you cheated that she knows about? She got a suspicion that I was a for your life. For you? That, yeah, that's me. Did you? Yeah. Did I get a little bit of space for Here? Who counts? All right. <laughs> Why, what do you want to do? He can walk home. He can walk home. Here's Mariko, everybody. So, uh, you love her? Yeah, I love her. But at the same time, at the same time, uh, Mariko, uh, you know, she says that you admitted things in the past, but you kind of like turned over a new leaf. Is that right? Yeah. Last night, you were in a room with two decoys, and let's see what went on, all right? Take a look. Take a look at that. When was the last time you cheated that she knows about? She got a suspicion that I get the feeling that you just want her to let you just do what you feel like doing. Is that right? No. No? It ain't nothing like that. It's not like that? No. What's it like? I mean, what kind of, rela what kind of relationship is this? Well, you took the test. We're going to have the results right now. How's that? <laughs> we asked you when you are you really having sexual intercourse with another woman? You said no. The lie detector test determined. He was busted cheating on hidden camera. Can he now pass the lie detector test and possibly save his marriage? The lie detector test determined. This teen's much older boyfriend failed the lie detector test. Will Daisha stay with him or will she go? The update is coming up. Shocking secret sex lives exposed next. I love Mariko with everything I have. He's everything to me. We have a beautiful one-year-old daughter together. Different women call my house and say that they're pregnant by Rico or they have babies by Rico. All I want is for my family to be together and for him just to be faithful to me. Last night, <laughs> our undercover investigator, David Talley, put two of his decoys in a room with Mariko, and this is what happened. Watch. Between me and you, how many times did you Well, I can't even count. Here? Who counts? Right. <laughs> Why, what do you want to do? When you did, are you really having sexual intercourse with another woman? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. We asked you during your relationship with a man, have you ever had sexual intercourse with any of the women you met at the convenience store? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. We asked you, have you ever had sex with a woman who told Amanda she was pregnant by you? You admitted that you did one time, but in fact, it was more than 10 times. We asked you, other than the times Amanda already knows about, have you had sexual intercourse with any other woman? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie more than 50 times with more than 21. Rico, I don't want you to I don't you want you to stop being a good father that you are. But the question is whether the, the two of you can come to an agreement about your relationship. No, I'm sorry. After seeing that, never hearing that, we done. We get home, get some stuff and get out. We'll be back right after this thing. This teen's much older boyfriend failed the lie detector test. Will Daisha stay with him? Or will she go? The update is coming up. 
shocking secret sex lives exposed next. Earlier, 19 year old Daisha found out through a lie detector test that her 35 year old boyfriend, Miguel, was unfaithful in having sex with other women behind her back. At first, Daisha was strong and proud, but backstage, her emotions had gotten the best of her. <laughs> Executive producer Paul Fallhaber pleaded with Miguel to come clean to Daisha and admit the truth. You guys spoke, broke up? Yeah. A little bit? Yeah. Does she know about every person and every time you were with someone else? No. Yeah. Because the thing, that's what you gotta tell her now. That's what you have to go and tell her now. I'll tell you what you wanna know. I'll tell you what you know. You I should love, have told me I beforehand. You. I told you always keep it real with me, and you did it. It's over. It's I don't even want to hear okay. no more. It's over then. When we sure. go back home, I'll, I'll get out of your house. Goodbye. What happened to this couple when they got home? We spoke to Daisha, and she says that after a brief period of living apart, she and Miguel are still together and are trying hard to make things work. We wish them the best of luck. Until next time, America. It's officially summer, but if the heat's got you down, these updates will fire you up. Who stepped up? You are not. <laughs> Who backed down? Ooh, I knew it. I knew it. Who skipped town? A shine may not be yours. Welcome to Boot Camp. And that was the truth. <laughs> Today, they're returning with incredible updates. And her tarot cards were telling her that Joseph was being unfaithful. Cuckoo! Blind tech test determined. Go for it, mommy! That was a lot. Oh! Rose claimed it was over, but was it in the cards that it was over? Let's find out. Do you remember this guest? Mom, you think I'm having sex? Well, guess what? I am. Bars were great with handcuffs. Did she change her ways? This update will blow you away. What about this couple? Gene is my property. I am the big dad. I'm tired of it, Bob. Oh, no, I'm, not. I'm not calling you anymore. What happened to this couple after the show? And who could forget this story? You are not. Oh, no. You want some results, man? One eight 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 four five more. After the results, where are they now? An outrageous hour of horror starts now. Recently, we met some of the wildest guests ever to appear on the show, and you, the audience, have been calling and texting and emailing and asking us, you know, what happened after the show to these guests. So today, we feel it's our responsibility to bring them back, and you're going to find out. Now, first, we have back Rose. Rose came to us certain that her husband Joseph was cheating. Why was she so sure? See, Rose says she's a psychic. And <laughs> tarot cards. And her tarot cards were telling her that Joseph was being unfaithful. Take a look. I've been married 16 years to Joseph. And now deep down in my heart, I know he's cheating on me. I believe that Joseph has had sex with my own mother. If this test proves that I was right all along, no, this all but us. No, 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 no. You're Marie. psychic. Yes, I you're, am. You get all kind of feelings. Right. He's with a girl. Right. I feel my butt. <laughs> when he's thinking of a woman or he's doing something, I can feel my breath itching. Oh. 
I love you, mommy. I will never cheat on you. Have you ever had sex with Rose's mother? Go for it, Murray. Go for it, because I'm going to knock your ass off the Fly detector test determined that was the truth. Did any other children besides the five you have with Rose? You said no. Did the lie detector test determined that was a lie. So it looked like divorce was in Rose's future, but Rose decided to give Joseph another chance. Aww. However, a week later, Rose and Joseph returned because this time Joseph had three secrets to reveal to Rose. Oh. Watch. Tell her the first secret. My first secret is I have a girl pregnant with eight months. Oh. My um, second secret is I have a, another woman with six months pregnant. Oh. What are you doing to me? What are you doing to me and my kids? And she's having twins. 16 years! Oh. I gotta deal with these bastard kids now? Huh? Yeah. I'm done with you. My third secret, I was doing a strip show over 10 years, and oh. she went, oh. 16 years of my life. <laughs> I'm tired. You are so done. You better stay with your horse. Now, Rose is back today, and I want to pool our audience. All those people who think that Rose and Joseph are going to walk out here together, applaud. Let's find out. Find out who showed up, Rose and Joseph, or just Rose? By yourself. I'm by myself. Where's Joseph? In a car. In the car? He's sleeping in a car. He's looking for an apartment, and he's not going to my house ever again. Really? Stop! And then, and you said you wanted to give me a present. Yes, I am. What are you going to do? I'm going to read your tarot cards and You're tell gonna you all You're going to read my cards? Stuff. I can tell you this, Rose. All right? I don't need to read your cards. You're going to have a great future. I am. So now, recently, my staff... Well, one of our producers received a phone call from a man named Jordan, see? After his girlfriend, Chelsea, gave birth, Jordan took one look at Jory... ...picked up the phone and called the show. Seven days ago, I gave birth to a little girl named Jory Ann. While I was still laying in the hospital bed, he had the nerve to call the Marshall and say, my baby doesn't look like him. When Chelsea finally had Jory Ann, I examined her. Right away, I picked up the phone in the hospital and dialed one 888 45 You know my number, huh? Hell yeah! You are not. <laughs> you want your results, man? One eight 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 four five. Lori, we gonna tell it all. But here's the seriousness of it. Although Jordan was proven not to be the father, guess what? He decided to stay with Chelsea and raise Jory Ann as his own. Then, two days ago, another development. Chelsea told us that not only are they still together, but Chelsea is pregnant again, and this time, no question, Jordan is the dad. <laughs> Three months ago, he met a distraught, broken woman named Regina and her boyfriend, Bob. Now, Bob insisted he be called Big Daddy. <laughs> and Big Daddy controlled Regina's every single move this. My house is my domain. Gina's my property, and I'm her big daddy. 
Gina must trim my toenails, trim my eyebrows, and give me sex on demand. Has he called you a hooker? This is what he calls me all the time, and all my friends are hookers. And if I all women are hookers. All women are hookers. To him. <laughs> Cause that's my name. I am the big dad. <laughs> What's your problem? I'm tired of it, Bob. You're supposed to call me big dad. What I tell you? I'm not calling you anymore. I you? From this day forward, what are you gonna call him? Bob. Big dad. <laughs> so, after their appearance, our friend Dave Vitale wanted big daddy. Just where his wife could end up if he didn't stop controlling and abusing her. Watch. These controlled women all agreed to pose motionless in an actual coffin in an attempt to scare their men straight. Dave Vitale was going to show Bob what can happen when physical abuse goes too far. I love you, babe. I'm so sorry I ever hurt you, treated you bad. I love you. I love you. Wow, I mean, it seemed like you were getting through to Bob. So, audience, you think Bob changed after that show? No. You're wrong. He did. And Bob has made a complete turnaround, and his controlling ways are now a thing of the past. We wish them the very best. Now then, a few months ago, we met a furious woman named Kendra. Kendra came to us in a very complicated situation. You see, Kendra got pregnant by her husband, Richard, and instead of being happy, he immediately accused her of cheating and began to deny the son, Richard III. Because of Richard's suspicions, he cheated on his wife with this woman, Corrine, who also claimed that her son, Emmanuel, belonged to Richard too. I met Richard. I thought we was gonna have the perfect life, the perfect family, but he screwed all that up for us. The first thing he did to mess up our marriage is to deny our son. I never cheated on my husband, and I'm positive that he is the father. Because he thinks that I'm cheating, he went out and cheated with another woman named Corinne. He got her pregnant. Richard believes that Corinne's son is not his. If he is the father, what's going to happen? Bye-bye, Bertie. <laughs> Kendra, today I'm going to prove that Corinne's baby is not mine. If the test results come back that your baby isn't mine, you can pack your bag. You really believe you messed around on her? I think so. And then, because of that, you messed around on her. Yeah, I made a mistake. It's not my baby, though. It's you not don't think it's your baby. Uh, now, remember, Kendra claimed if Richard fathered Corrine's baby, she was going to file for divorce. So we, before we got to that, first we had the results of Kendra's baby. In the case, three-year-old Richard III, Richard... You are the father. In the case of two-year-old Emmanuel, Richard, you are the father. Why? Why, Richard, why? Oh, my God, oh, my God. Hey, Richard, that's what you get for accusing me. I never cheated on you. I got you. You thought I was out here cheating, and look where he got you. No. So obviously, Kendra was devastated by the results. So was it bye-bye birdie for Richard, like Kendra claimed? Take a look at this video update. Hey, Maury, it's me, Kendra. After finding out that Richard had cheated on me and had another baby, I thought our marriage was over. But well, Maury, she forgave me. And although I know it's hard for her to trust me, I'm working every day to try to regain my trust. Now we're looking forward to the future, and guess what? We're having a second child. And Mari, this time, I know this one's mine. <laughs> Thanks, Mari. Bye. Bye. That's okay. At least the family stays together. Richard, Kendra, we wish you all the best. We'll be back right after this. What happened to these guests after the show? Mom, you think I'm having sex? Well, guess what? I am. Bars were great with handcuffs. Did she change her way? This update will blow you away. You are not. <laughs> will her search end today?
A girl? You gay? I gotta go. I wanna be with you, Perry. Is he still with Lisa? Hey, Murray, this is Lisa. We're about to find out. It's officially summer. These updates will fire you up. My sister Kirsty means the world to me because we had it hard growing up, and so she was like a mother and a sister to me. When the show called to tell me that she wanted to reveal a secret to me, I was so shocked. I thought it was a joke. I couldn't believe it. Turn to your sister. Tell her why you brought her here. I had sex with Tony. Oh! Why would you even be with her over me? Right? You think you can forgive the two of them? No! You are my sister, and I've been there for you, and, you know, blood is bigger than water, but blood doesn't have sex with your fiancé either. <laughs> We've heard some jaw-dropping secrets, but what happened when the studio lights went dark and the guests went home? Did they break up? Did they make up? Well, today, they're back, and you won't believe what's happened since the show. Now, this next confession involved a woman named Tasha who came to reveal a heartbreaking secret to her husband, Ryan. Of all the secrets we've had on this show, all of them, Ryan's chilling reaction. Yo, I've been in the day for two decades strong. 20 years deep, never felt like I belonged From the streets to the stage, I spit truth in every song My lyrics cut deep like a knife in the dawn I hustle hard, grind it from dust till dawn Every step back just fuels my fire I spawn from the concrete jungle where dreams are born I rise above the noise like a fiendish reborn This is my life, a story, my rhyme From the struggle and pain I climb With every beat I redefine my legacy Forever in the front This is my life, my story, my rhyme From the struggle and pain I climb With every beat I redefine my legacy Forever in the front I put it all, the highs and lows From the penthouse suites to the streets where it snows But no matter the path, the journey I chose I stay true to myself that's how it goes, I spit verses like bullets, piercing through the night Shattering illusion, shedding truth, shedding light With every rhyme I write, I take flight Defying gravity, reaching new heights This is my life, my story, my rhyme From the struggle and pain I climb With every beat, I redefine My legacy, forever intertwined This is my life, my story, my rhyme from the struggle and pain I climb With every beat I redefine My legacy forever intertwined So here I stand on the stage alone A warrior poet with a heart of stone I paid my dues, I caught my mind Got the scale more, better for the desert This is my legacy forever intact I got to rain better for the desert Yeah, better for the desert I'm a veteran in the game, ain't no turning back. This is my legacy forever intact. ...was one I'll never forget. When Ryan met Tasha, he thought his life was complete. Tasha and I have a great relationship. We have two beautiful kids, and I think I got the life every man dream about. Little did he know his wife was hiding a terrible secret. I cheated on you, and that shine may not be yours. Yo, somebody pinch me and tell me this ain't true. Oh, we've been through. We came from down here to up here. And you're gonna tell me you're cheating on me? My kids, my wife, it's everything to me. Everything. Joke, yo, this gotta be a joke. 
Ryan, you are the father. <laughs> Who is the baby dad? Now, that's the way every paternity secret story should end. Woo! Now, we have met many outrageous teens over the years, but 15-year-old Olivia was one of the worst we've ever seen. See, Olivia's mother came to us desperate for help because Olivia was out of control. In fact, she was so sex-crazed, she sent us a video diary of all the places she liked to have sex. Watch. Look at her. Look at the way she's dressed. She's a street walker. We sent a camera crew, and we were shocked by what she revealed to us. Mom, you think I'm having sex? Well, guess what? I am, and I'm about to tell you all of my favorite places. My bed. These bars were great with handcuffs. Another one of my favorite places is the curb, because cars drive by and they see what I'm doing. My next favorite place is the car. I like it on it and in it, and so do my men. <laughs> That's my baby. Get picked up on the sidewalk by strangers. I don't get picked up on the sidewalk. I have sex on the sidewalk. I have sex. Along with the rest of the wild teens, we sent Olivia to boot camp. I believe that just like this is a joke. Well, Luna, you know what? This is not a joke. Oh, we ain't even started. Welcome to boot camp. Would Olivia's grueling experience change her out of control ways? So after an intensive stint at boot camp, were we able to get through to Olivia? Take a look at this video update. Hi, Mari. I am so proud of Olivia. She has came a long way. Well, Mari, since the show, I've learned my lesson. I became a devoted mother to my beautiful son and soon-to-be-born daughter. It makes me so happy to see her take responsibility for herself and her children. She is such a loving mother. Well, Mari, I hope to see you soon. Next time I come back, I'll show you the new addition to our family. Bye, Mari. Wow, one baby, another one on the way. So, Olivia, we're glad to hear you're enjoying motherhood. We wish you all the best. We hope that you're taking care of yourself. Okay. <laughs> now, this next secret is something I'll never forget. It involved a woman named Lisa who came to reveal a life-changing secret to her boyfriend, Antoine. Now, there was a third person involved in this secret, and it was who this person was that was truly shocking. What do you have to tell me? <laughs> that I've been sleeping with this guy. Yeah. Who's his cut? Marina Rose. A girl? Yeah. Tell me a secret. <laughs> I've been sleeping with your cousin. Our cousin? That's a girl. Antoine, I'm so sorry for sleeping with your fiance, Lisa. When was the last time you slept with her? <laughs> last week. Last week? Oh. Yo, it's too many girls out there. Me and you were tight like brothers and sisters. I just asked you to forgive me. I forgive you. Your mother wants to forgive me. I don't want to be with you, period. I don't want to be with you. Stop chasing after me. So after the show, we received all of this fan mail from women all over the country who want to date Antoine. Which, which left, uh, left us wondering, is he still with Lisa? Take a look at this video update. Hi, Murray. This is Lisa. I bet you're wondering if I stay with Antoine or Rena. Well, actually, I stay with Rena. I feel bad for hurting my cousin Antoine, but hey, I'm with the woman that I love. I also feel bad, but you know, sometimes you have to make changes in life, and I made a change for the better. Thank you, Murray, for bringing us together. Thanks, Murray. Bye, Bye Murray. Murray. So Antoine is not with Lisa anymore. So who's he dating? We don't know. We can't find him. So Antoine, if you're out there, all this mail's for you. Give us a call. We'll get it to you. We'll be back after this. What happened to these guests after the show? She slept with her own mother's fiance. So sorry, mommy. Is he the father? You are not. Will she test another man? I love this woman. I love my wife. That's a lie more than 25 times. What more you gotta say to me? I ain't cheating. What happened to this couple after the show? We're about to find out. It's officially summer. These updates will fire you up.
The first time we met Scott, we realized he was a walking miracle in a terrible situation. I was born with a rare dwarfism disease, and life has been a struggle. You weren't supposed to live past 10. Right. You're 37. Yep. You were never supposed to have kids, right. and you have two. Yep. This is some miracle story. Secret is, I had been with somebody else. I don't think Jasmine is yours. Oh! Oh! Scared that you were gonna leave. Why would I leave? I got two children. He's the world. The results were in. Was Scott the father? Scott, you are the father. Oh! Hi, boy. It's been a long journey. We uh, moved on from the past of the cheating. We got married and Jessica got pregnant. We'd like to introduce our new addition, Juliet Michelle. Our family is complete and we couldn't be happier. We'd like to thank you for bringing our family together and making us a part of yours. Thank, thank you, Maury. Bye. So Scott and Jessica, it looks like you guys are one big happy family and we wish you all the best. Now, speaking of families, this next story involved a woman named Jolie, who was so desperate to get pregnant, she slept with her own mother's fiance, Steve. Oh. Now, after revealing the secret to her mom, Jolie came here praying a DNA test proved her soon-to-be stepdad was not the father of her own baby. Watch. Four years ago, I was so desperate to have a baby. Around the time I got pregnant, I was with two different men. One was my ex-boyfriend, and the other was my mom's fiance, Steve. And I have no idea which one's my baby's father. I just wish I knew. My biggest fear is that Steve is going to be proven to be my baby's father. I'm so sorry, Mommy. It just happened. I did have sex with my fiance's daughter. No matter what the results of the DNA test, I'll always be there for that baby. If these two get married, he's gonna be the father, she's gonna be the grandmother. I hope not. The results were in. Would Jolie's soon-to-be stepdad also be the father of her daughter? Mike, who could not be here, is not the father. <laughs> of three-year-old Brianna Steve, you are not. I have no idea. I want to know. I want to find out. So, happily, Jolie's stepdad was proven not to be the baby's father. And after the show, thank God, Jolie's mom found it in her heart to forgive her and even invited her to the wedding. Now, as for finding her baby's father, Jolie says she's decided to put her search on hold. Now, four years ago, we met a 14-year-old girl named Jasmine who was desperate to get pregnant, and her mom, Dondra, was desperate to stop her. I started trying to have a baby at the age of 12. Mom, I know you think I'm pregnant right now, but all I got to say is I hope you're right. What will you do if you find out she's pregnant today? Don't devastate me. Because she, she's not able to take care of a baby. They're only 14. Jasmine, who's yeah, that? This my baby girl face. I carry her everywhere I go. Give me this dog. <laughs> I know I can be a mama. No, you can't. Oh, yes, I can. I don't know, man. Although Jasmine changed her wild ways, she did wind up pregnant with a baby named Rihanna. Now, although Jasmine said she loved baby Rahana, she admitted that she and her mother struggled to raise her, which is why, seven months after giving birth, she needed our help revealing a secret to her mother. What's your secret? <laughs> My secret is that I'm um, four months pregnant. Oh! Rahana broke? Because his mom gave him the wrong ones, and they... Broken. You are barely surviving now with this one child. My mom just don't know that I feel bad every day. I go to school crying. Every time I go to bed, I cry every night because I never told her that secret. It's been hard, right? Yes, it's Since been your grandbaby very hard. 
Tell your mother why you brought her here. My phone was crazy. I know we're struggling with Rihanna right now. We tried to get in touch with Dondra and Jasmine, and we haven't been able to reach them. So, Dondra, Jasmine, if you're watching, let us know how you're doing. All we want to do is be able to inform our, our audience, okay? We'll be back right after this. What happened to these guests after the show? You are not. <laughs> Will her search end today? You love this woman. I love my wife. That's a lie more than 25 times. What more do you got to say to me? I ain't cheating. What happened to this couple after the show? We're about to find out. It's officially summer. These updates will fire you up. So, whatever happened to that outrageous, shocking Mari guest? We're going to find out today. Recently, we met a furious young woman named Alicia who came to the prove to her ex-boyfriend, Tommy, and his new girlfriend, Brandy, that Tommy was the father of her baby, Bryce. But there was a twist, see? Alicia also wanted to prove to Tommy that his current girlfriend, Brandy's baby, Ryan, did not belong to him. Oh. Take a look. The first time Brandy and her boyfriend, Tommy, appeared, they came to prove to Tommy's ex-girlfriend, Alicia, that Tommy was not the father of Alicia's baby, Bryce. Alicia the lying whore. She got what she deserved when Tommy left her fat ass. They were also determined to prove to Alicia that Tommy was the father of Brandy's baby, Ryan. I left Alicia for Brandy because I love Brandy, and I know Brandy's child's mine. She called Tommy right. and told Tommy, he may not be yours because I slept with I somebody I said that because else. we were together for three years, Brandy, and he left me for you. Trailer trash is what you both are. The results of the paternity test left all of us shocked. When it comes to seven-month-old Bryce, Tommy, you are the father. When it comes to seven-month-old Ryan, Tommy, you are not the the results clearly did not upset Tommy, who had a surprise for Brandy. Oh, wow. So Tommy was the father of his ex's baby, and he was not the father of his girlfriend Brandy's baby. Two weeks later, Brandy and Tommy returned to the show. This time, Brandy said she was positive a man named Wesley was the father of her baby. Why? He needs to step up to the plate and be the father. Do you want Wesley to be the father? Brandy is a liar, a cheater, a whore, and I don't trust her at all. Step up to the plate. Do that! When the Six paternity months. test comes back, did that baby Okay, mind? then step That's up. Step then step up. up. The be a dad. Be the Wesley, you are not. <laughs> So here's what happened after that show. Brandy and Tommy stayed together. And Alicia says Tommy has stepped up and is taking care of her baby, Bryce. So he's a pretty good guy. Now, this is video footage of and her husband, Richard. Uh, you know, it's a case of opposites attract. Now, Nikisha and Richard were childhood sweethearts. They'd just gotten married, but despite Nikisha's love and devotion, she couldn't shake the feeling that Richard was cheating. Watch. I can't get the idea of my husband, Richard, cheating out of my head. We were childhood sweethearts. He even took my virginity. All of a sudden, you find marks. Yes, he come home. He said, oh, baby, I was so drunk. My penis got uh, zipped up in my... Uh... Zip we just got married. Nikisha, I would never, ever, ever jeopardize our marriage for another woman. I know you think I'm not attracted to you anymore. I just can't jump in the bed and hump, hump, hump all the time. You love this woman. 
I love my wife. I really do. But I get tired of being blamed for cheating on her. No, he's yeah. ashamed of me. I'm not he's ashamed, ashamed of me because I'm me. I'm big, beautiful, and beloved. Yeah. So, you know, it was time to hear the lie detector results. Watch. Are you still in love with Nikisha? You said yes. You're telling the truth. Yeah. Asked if you regret marrying Nikisha, you said no. The lie Any woman other than Nikisha, you said no. That's a lie more than 25 times. Nikisha, don't do this. What more you gotta say to me? I ain't cheating. You brought me all the way to New York to cheat on me, you whore! I did not. Although Richard swore he never cheated, moments later, he confessed. Tell me the truth. I ain't do it that many times. I only did like three times. I forgive you. That's what love does. It clears all that. But I'm hurt. So finally, Richard's confession, Nikisha claimed she forgave her husband. So how are they doing? Take a look at this videotape update. Maury, I made a huge mistake cheating on Nikisha. I was hurt when the lie detector test come back that Richard had been cheating on me. But I decided to give him one more chance. I promise to be a good boy from now on. Because if he isn't, next time, he'll be out the door. All right. OK. Nikisha and Richard, we wish you all the best. And we'll be right back after this. What happened to these guests after the show? Oh, I knew it. I knew it. We're about to find out. We gonna prove it today, homeboy. You are the boss. <laughs> Did Antoine step up? You're not going to believe what he pulled this time. Maury. It's officially summer. These updates will fire you up. <laughs> the guests were truly outrageous. And some of the results were shocking. But what happened after the show? Now, recently, we met a young man named Patrick. He revealed a secret to the love of his life, Megan. A secret that threatened to tear the family apart. Watch. I am here today to reveal a terrible dark secret to the woman that I love. Me and Megan has been together for four years. Patrick has a secret. I'm scared. I don't want my son not to have his dad. Patrick turned to Megan. Tell her why you brought her here. I'm just cheating on you, baby. God, I knew it. I knew it. God, we and nine different women. Oh, my God! I, after everything I have done for you, how I am faithful, I love you. And you know that. Our family, Patrick, and you choose then nine different girls over me and over this little boy, our son. How long ago was the last time you cheated on me? Two weeks ago. What? Are you serious? Why? 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 So as shocking as the secret was, we truly believed that Patrick was sorry, but would Megan take Patrick back? What do you think? Well, we spoke to Megan, and Megan told us that Patrick's going to counseling for his sex addiction. She has decided to forgive him. A few weeks back, we met an angry woman named Rachel. She was determined to prove to a man named Jake and his fiancée, Teresa, that Jake was the father of her twins. Now, Jake claimed he only slept with Rachel one time, around the time she got pregnant. But Rachel claimed she and Jake had an on-again, off-again affair, and she took a lie detector test to prove it. He said it was one night, one time, one Well, my lie detector test is going to prove that wrong today. But what did he say when you, you told him you were pregnant? He told me, congratulations, who's the dad? When I told him I was sure he was, he told me he watches enough Maury to know every girl says it for sure. I made a big mistake when I cheated on Teresa with Rachel. I slept with her one time. I cannot be the father of Rachel's twins. One night stand. Yeah. That's it. Oh, yeah. And the lie detector test is going to prove different. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. right? You oh, see yeah. how upset she is? Oh, yeah, she's devastated from it. She has been. What happens if these are your twins? I just man up and be the man, be the father. Okay, 
So it was time to hear from Jake's fiance, Teresa, and reveal the results of Rachel's lie detector test. I hate that Rachel won't stay out of my life, and I hate that she's wrecking our family. I don't want to lose Jake. She knew that I was pregnant with his kid before she even slept with him. Let's do this test. Come on. Yeah. You're the home record. Oh, yeah, I'm the home record when he was one lying to both of us and cheating on you with me. You knew he was with me. How many times did you have a sexual intercourse with Jake? You admitted over 10 times, and that was the truth. Oh! Yeah. Did you intercourse with Jake in the last month? You said yes, we were telling you. I proved it right here. So, Jake did sleep with Rachel more than the one time he admitted to, but would the DNA test prove that Rachel's twins were his? Here were the results. In the case of two-year-old twins, Jeremy and Austin, Jake, you are the father. Are you gonna take care of my kids? I'm the one who's been working and taking care of my you own do kids. Not work. How How is is well, there you you're a stupid bitch. You're standing what? here with a cheater. Why do you do that to me? After the show, we spoke to Rachel. She said since the show, she has not seen or heard from Jake. Oh. We put a call into Jake and Teresa, and we haven't had a return call from them. So, Jake, if you're out there on the show, you said you would man up. So, please, man up. Yeah. We'll be back right after this. Did Antoine step up? You're not gonna believe what he pulled this time. Maury. It's officially summer. These updates will fire you up. Unbelievable update. Now, recently, we met a very passionate woman named Aura, who came to us determined to prove to a man named Antoine he was the father of her two-year-old son, Amari. The reason Antoine denied Amari, he claimed that Aura was a prostitute and that was it was her... <laughs> and that the baby was her pimp's baby. <laughs> you know what he says? You get your money from doing things. Prostituting? I'm a prosecutor, not a prostituter. <laughs> and I'm here prostituting you today. Know that. And if I did walk the track and do what I had to do, know that your son ain't never went to sleep hungry neither. <laughs> Last time I seen Aura, she was prostituting. She told me that the pimp was the baby's dad. I'm not your baby's father. Morning to bring him out. Uh, Take some what? of this change to give it you to your pimp. Don't try to come out. I mean, that's all I that your child? No, nah, that ain't my child. Antoine, you are the father. <laughs> You like that, huh? Yeah. Got some moves, doesn't she? She laid down the law, but afterward, did Antoine step up? Here's the video update. Hi, Maury. I laid down the law when I was out prosecuting Antoine, and I'm here to tell you it was completely worth it. Maury, I know that the DNA test proved that Amori is my son. Like the stand-up guy I am, I am trying to take responsibility for my son. Antoine has really stepped up. He calls and checks on Omari every day. He's even going to have him for the holidays. I'm going to continue to do the right thing. That way we can make sure Aura the Storm stays calm, cool, and collective. As you can see, we are doing great, and we have you to thank for all your help. Bye, Ori. And that is why we do paternity. Thank you, Aura, Antoine, Omari. We wish you all the best. We'll be back right after this. It's officially summer. These updates will fire you up. If you're dying to know what happened to a guest that was not updated today, log on to our website at www.marishow.com and write us. Thank you so much, everybody, for being with us today. 
Until next time, America. Thank you.